I just met you. And this is crazy. But here's my number. So call me. Yeah, find that, brother. You didn't even do it. What didn't I do? Nah. First of all, that. Second of all, okay. here you go for all you little fucking ASMR lovers. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the man's got the shivers. Welcome to. Welcome to. Welcome then! Welcome then! Welcome then! Why is that swinging? That's putting me off. <laughs> Did you do that, bro? Did you do that on purpose? No, I opened bro. the fridge. You won't believe me if I say it, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can get it. There's just some fucking do anal. Do you know what I feel needs to be a What part? even is that? They're not beads. It's not, it's kind of like a, a ribbed, soft deal, though. Snake. Yeah, snake. Like a little, snake think of like a, think of like a, like a, a just, rubber snake. I can snake just get it. We're on video. Ribs. <sighs> We're gonna get flagged. No, nah, bro. What the fuck is this? Is just a piece so. of plastic. Get it, so. Listen to the noise when I take this yoga off my fridge, though. Listen to it. The suction the cup. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that I'll, picked I'll bring up. Over the whole guy. I hope that. <laughs> Howdy! So he, he was referring to this, this little, this little device here. <clears throat> like, why do you have that? This was... What's the story behind that? This was gifted. Gifted? Gifted sounds... Hashtag gifted, <laughs> guys. Hashtag <laughs> gifted. Gifted sounds crazy. It was more so, like, inside joke level gift. Okay. That makes it sound like a like that thing. Sounds, oh my that ass. sounds a little weird. I, I won't lie. I don't know what the context of the conversation was. But anyway, I was with someone and we were scrolling through AliExpress mm -hmm. looking at like sex toys and like just like that whole section. I'm just kind of seeing how wild a website like that could get for so cheap. Is AliExpress still going? Yeah, AliExpress is like the biggest one. Really? Like shit on which Damn. wish all of them. Like that, that's huge. Yeah. But it was, I believe I bought the person three things. Okay. And then they bought me three things. Okay. This being one, that being the other. And then I got a set of sounding rods. Sounding rods? Sounding rods. What's that? So. <laughs> <laughs> you, learn, you learn something new every day, guys. Definitely with. Hold on. Definitely with this podcast. Cheers. Cheers. Wait one up for me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Vape it up for me, brother. Vape it up real good for me, brother. This thing's gonna last two seconds every time we fucking do it. Put it in between. Put it in between. Yeah. So you get the oh, you get the big cushion behind you. You get a Minecraft sword behind. I get, the, I get this. Oh my god, it's actually killing me though. <laughs> this can go here as well. Yeah, this actually looks so good. This is so good. Yeah, you can the thing just <laughs> fell. Ah. So basically, what was I talking about? Sounding so rods. Yeah, sounding, sounding rods, rods and what they are because I've never. <laughs> <laughs> scuff cast, scuff cast. Um, a sounding rod is a device for <laughs> male urethral pre pleasure. Oh, yeah. So like, fuck. so like sounding rods though. They don't like you kind of you don't buy one sounding rod. You gotta in, like in stretch the, them out in it? the same way as when you gauge your ear. Yeah. You don't just go one mil. Yeah. You work your way up to the centimeter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounding rods work in the same way. I'm not sure if I still have the kit. Or like at least I don't know where it is. <laughs> <laughs> which is so I lost them. I was I was doing it and I lost them. Which is which is worrying. But basically, you yeah. put it in your dick hole mm. and <laughs> <laughs> like work it around. You work it around okay. until your dick hole is like bigger. I don't know who wants that. Why they want that though? Yeah, like For, um. Some docking. That's for like <laughs> docking, where you like you actually put your dick yeah, in. Yeah. Imagine, dick. imagine someone stretched it that much that you could put it in. Imagine someone had a perfect little penis and <laughs> fit in my docking the hole. Perfect in my docking hole. <laughs> perfect little penis just in my in my sounding rod penis. Um, I I could never dock with someone. I don't have a foreskin. 
I could I could beat it. I could oh, beat yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I could beat a cable, but I forgot I could, what I could docking never, was for a second. I could never beat a port. Yeah, yeah. You could never. You forgot the, what docking was. So when I yeah. said you fit my, you're perfect little penis in my. Yeah, I thought it was like in hole. the hole, but obviously it's not. Well, docking is kind of just where you put your dicks together and you put like one foreskin on top and then the other one on top like a Chinese finger trap. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, by the way. Welcome. <laughs> um, but what are we calling it again? What's up, the viewers decide. You decide right now. Like, you decide. Well, welcome down, welcome down. Leave it down to the cabs, everybody. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> spin on my hat. Every every time my hat spins, yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, no. Let's let's do some hypotheticals. Or should we should we start with those? Hypotheticals. Yeah. There's a button. Okay. There's, There's a, button. a button. It's a big red button. It's beautiful, beautiful button. Mm-hmm. Every time you click it, mm-hmm. you get five k. Five k. Five k. Measly number for for big top dogs like us. Um. But a small Vietnamese sweatshop child dies every time you press it. So, like, how many times are you pressing it? <laughs> a small Vietnamese sweatshop child. <laughs> yeah. That's a very specific person. Well, if it was someone from, like, a first world country, you'd, like, you'd care more, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. No, like I just did say it. He said oh, it. Yeah. He just, said it. Look, guys, our podcast is just two guys shooting the shit. Shooting the shit. We're gonna throw shit at the wall. <laughs> we're gonna see what's. We're stage. shooting shit. We got shit guns. We're shooting them. <laughs> we got shit guns. Pow. We got double shot. There's the first one. Pow. <laughs> Pow. Shit gun. Pow. I gotta put like little shit spikes. Hang, hang, hang. No, but would you press the button? Nah. Small I don't think so. You're putting. So you're Bro, you're saying right? Bag. So so. You're, so a human life is worth 5k to you. Under the right circumstances. Well, well. Do you think? Do you? Are you? Do you think? Right. That a person from that place and that scenario. Oh, bro! Don't bring it. Don't, worth, bro, don't bring it. Don't do me like that. Okay. Okay. I'll change, it. I'll change it. I'll change it. I'll me or you? It. I'll change it. Now where it was, 100%. They're they're broke. They need their money up. <laughs> Get your money up, not your funny up. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Anyway, uh, okay, I'll ch- <laughs> changing it. Press He's the, changing it. Press, press the button. 5K, yeah. 5K. A, a, a fucking vegetable dies, like full, like. Yeah, 100%. Like. They're, they're probably. <laughs> they're, you know you're saying their life is prob- valuable. Because that's not life, bro. What are you saying? He's just chilling in this shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Another you can't, shit shot. You can't this out. Nah, you can't. No, you can't. Can. It's comedy, bro. Uh, <laughs> number one. That's not. They're probably costing more. <laughs> to plug in. To plug in. <laughs> and I'm the electricity. Bro, electricity is through the roof right now. I'm not keeping my grandpa alive. Because it's <laughs> like, but state. that's not a life though. Like, yeah, okay. So you go to the hospital every every week, and you go, yeah. oh, there's Gramps. He's just chilling. He's not doing much. How's he keeping? Nah, he's the same. Okay, you have a, a million dollar deal on the table, yeah. Yeah. You're on the phone, like working this out. <laughs> I'm on the phone to Trump. Your granddad's, your granddad's on my sport. Your phone's on one percent. There's only one fucking room. <laughs> you have your charger though. Million dollar deal. Million You're about dollar. to just say yes. Million dollar deal. It's about to close. Your iPhone's like doing the thing where like you press like on speaker and it's taking like five seconds and then it gets flashes. So like this, she's gone any second. You unplug it up. It's a, it's a matter of time before he dies. Yeah, it's a matter of time before be anyone. Fair, does to be that. fair, it's not a matter of time before you get your bag. Exactly. Like that could never come. Pronouns, bag, chaser. I, I tried to do it on Instagram and it wouldn't let me. That's some. <laughs> I was about to just absolutely. Pronouns are fucking gay. Pronouns are gay <laughs> as fuck, dude. Pronouns. Z Zim Ooh. Zimmer. What? Hans Zimmer. That's my fucking pronouns. Hans Zimmer. <laughs> Mine are it's him. <laughs> that guy. I'm that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really. that guy. Because, I, my favorite because you'll is, never be him. My favorite. My favorite. Did you ever see those things on yeah, TikTok? That's why. That's my why. Favorite name's really, or what is it? Or he, he. He. Because I'll never be him, him or some shit. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Down like, bad. He, he. He, he. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let's talk pronouns. Let's get. Let's get political. Let's, let's get into the nitty gritty and give the people what they want to hear. <laughs> okay, we gotta swap hats. <laughs> swap hats. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> I was gonna put on the fucking. You gotta be redneck for that, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's a, there's that's a ra- red. There's a racist hour. That's red. Racist hour nation. Welcome to the racist segment. <laughs> racist hour time. I just like to to, to clarify. Uh, I didn't buy a maga hat. <laughs> yeah, you didn't. My. <laughs> <laughs>
We've recorded an unholy amount of podcasts at this stage and like there's been technical difficulties. There's been a lazy fuck behind it. There's been <laughs> there's been someone having racist tirade saying how like fucking black people don't deserve rights and I'm like, bro Alex, we can't put that in. He goes, Ryan, this is the gripping content that the people want to see. <laughs> I'm delivering it right to you. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> how do you feel about Alex Jones getting his ass suit out? No, what's happening is Alex Jones got taken off of Twitter, right? Yeah. For comments at the start of the pandemic. I the believe. pandy. And so they took him off, and then he's suing Twitter. No, because he got he got the, the information shit suit album though. Yeah, yeah, and then he's suing them. Oh, he's suing them back now. Because the shit that he said was true. I'm not up on the Jones lawyer. What happened was, was he that, got taken that, off that Twitter was, and then he sued Twitter. Wormer thing and everyone was like, you can't have Wormer, you're a human. Wormer? That's oh, her horsey Wormer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah Ivermectin. And it came out that it does work and everyone's like, oh, we've taken people off this platform for saying these things, but they actually turn out to be true. So do we put them back on? Or is it just, well, we, that, just we just don't like what they say? At the time, there was an agenda. Like, you know, stay indoors, wear a mask. Like, there was an agenda. Absolutely bollocks yeah i feel like in in hindsight now first of all i wanted to like just be like i know everything we've said so far is just kind of like whoa they're a bit fucking wild for saying the shit they're saying i we just have to get out of our system yeah yeah um, it's been so we're, long we're not we're not anti-mask no fucking no no. I know, no no i am anti-mask for sure okay that's fine like, and but i always was we're, but we're not like i'm not associated with those people you know what I mean? Well, there's people who say some outlandish <laughs> shit and it's and it's incorrect, but then there's also like, certain like, things that aren't incorrect whatsoever. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with all and that shit. Masks were bullshit. They don't work. Yeah. They've proven not to work. Mm. And pe some people still fucking wear them. Do you ever see a person? If you're wearing a mask nowadays, you're out in, out in, in, Fair enough in, if you're like old. And like in the shops scared. and you just see some... Per Even if you're old, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> You just look like a fucking idiot. Is this actual, like, factual, factual science? Factual, factual science. Or is this Joe Rogan Why do you think science? they go, oh, you don't need them anymore? What, it's what, not gone away, but it has gone away. It's just, it, it, they got to the stage where they realized how much of an overreaction and how much it has fucked the world. Crazy overreaction. And it literally, remember it was like people's lives at the start? People's lives are fine until the money drops and then it's like, oh, like, people's lives fucked that. We need everything open again. We need people to be spending money. We need people to be doing things. No, but like if you think about if you if you look back at it, right? One thing that was huge, like I, I was watching a, a podcast and they were talking about that time of when they were like, uh, oh, this shop's not essential, this shop's not essential. Close all of these shops, right? Mm. Fast food stayed open. Yeah. So is it about is it about health? It's not about yeah, health. Yeah, that's a bit weird, right? isn't it? If you wanted people to be healthy, if this was a health thing, they care about your health so deeply, they would get rid of all this fast food bollocks. They'd make they'd make food and but good it, foods more accessible and cheaper. Is it is it is it a case that like if you close McDonald's though, that has a huge impact on like farming in general? You know, does that have a knock on effect then on supermarket food? Because of I don't, like, I don't think so. I, I don't know. That's what I'm. I'm I don't to, think so. I'm trying to. Rationalize. I think in America the thing that they said was, oh, but how are the poor people going to eat? What's it have to do with anything? Because it's fast food, cheap oh, as fuck. Oh yeah, yeah. Fast food, dirt cheap. Yeah. They go, oh, how are the poor the, people? The price eat? of food in general nowadays is crazy. Yeah. Is that, the it's price actually of everything. It's is actually crazy. jarring to stay healthy nowadays. It's difficult. It's, it's more difficult. It's more to, difficult to, to stay eat good. Yeah. Why is, do you think that is? That's wild to me, though. Yeah. But what I was getting to the point of was, remember, do you remember, right? Does your Tesco's have a closed section? Yeah, the F and F, they closed that. So you're already in, in the, the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've already regulated the amount of people that are in the building, mm. so it's safe. Everybody's wearing masks. Look, if we talk and about- And you can't go and buy a fucking if pair we, of socks. If we go into like COVID L's, I could be here all day. Because remember when like pubs weren't safe unless you got a Sambo? That shit. Remember that. That shit doesn't make. Uh, that's the thing. You look back and you go, <laughs> you go, what the fuck? Were we? But the thing is, at the time, everyone's going. No, even at oh, the time, okay. everyone was like, everyone, no, but that one, yeah, but yeah, that yeah. one, yeah. So but, basically, but you wouldn't question the the, the closed section being but if, shut off. Just if you're in a different country watching this, um, in Ireland, we had a thing where all our pubs closed. Absolute shock. We're drunk. But but 
restaurants were allowed to stay open. Shock. So to <laughs> so to bypass that, pubs would like serve the worst food imaginable, and it had to be nine. They euro. would have just gone to like what's that <clears throat> like place where you go and Musgraves, you buy bulk? Like yeah, so they went they went to Musgraves and they buy just it wasn't even. Fucking shit. I, I I remember I ordered steak and like chips or steak and onion rings, and it came like and they were like Ali frozen onion rings like the little tiny ones i literally was like i'm not eating that you can have that i'm not paying for it mm. and your one was like <laughs> i was like i'm not i'm not fucking being paid like fucking 13 quid but it was so dumb that whole like food i can't remember what they called it some sub meal ticket thing. so you have to get food to get a drink yeah but basically. like you're already there like it like, it's not it doesn't and then it was you were only allowed to stay for like an hour yeah you had like an hour slot in a pub and then when they did they also another huge l they put a curfew on the pubs yeah. so people weren't out late yeah because there was this like big thing where covid didn't happen after or covid came out after midnight that's when covid was rampant they got oh you can't be out past so this to time. combat that they made everyone leave the, everywhere at the exact same time and get the same public transport at the exact same time mm -hmm. that's how they combat it in britain that lasted like a week and they and immediately they changed it, changed yeah, it. Yeah. in ireland that lasted throughout Booking the, the whole, whole thing. thing and now they're like oh do you think we should leave um the open until 6 a.m at night did you see that yeah they're bringing but, that in. but they need to because everywhere is dying there's no nightlife in ireland anymore yeah everything's fucked yeah it's this country is AIDS. I fucking hate Ireland. Genuine. I'm not proud to be Irish in the slightest. Mm. Controversial take here. Controversial hot topic. It's fucked. Mm. But would you like to go anywhere else, man? The, see, the thing is, like back in the day when they emigrated, like it was you had a choice. Now it's like you can go anywhere. It's fucked. You know, everywhere's here. This is a global. You were recession. going. You were yeah. You were going yeah. somewhere for a better life. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. Is yeah, there, yeah, is there even a better life somewhere? That's like it might be slightly better somewhere else. Like, you can be in a recession, but you can smoke weed legally in Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's... Yeah. I'm, I'm so... I'm deep in Amsterdam, hardcore. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to go to Amsterdam. I'm, I'm deep in Amsterdam, That place hardcore. is just so not, peaceful. Not even for the weed, because, like, it's Ireland in 2022. We get Amsterdam weed, and you can get it in, like, fucking two seconds. Yeah. And we can get it for pretty much the same price nowadays. That's also how I know inflation is a fucking lie. It's a joke. Weed hasn't gone up one bit. It's the that's only not. thing that has not raised in price. That's <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I understand why fuel will, will go up, but then also everything's going to go up now. Depends China, on where it's coming from. But China's having its biggest drought of all time now. The third largest river in the world is completely dried up. Really? Factories have had to close. Yeah, I didn't even know anything about that. I think it was you, you said That's that to China, me a while ago, though. and I was just like, what? Yeah, but remember I said... How are we not hearing about this shit? It's China. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, they only confirmed, like, about a month ago that China has uh, concentration camps for Muslims. Really? Yeah, this is, didn't, like, a thing that you were tinfoil hat for saying, like, two years ago. Yeah. I completely believe it. But there's it. so much shit with that, like... CCP, baby. People say something, and it's like... Oh, like I have this, I have this like inside me, me, information. Me when I said the Queen was gonna, I said the Queen yeah, was dead you, last year. You just don't know about that one. Like, well, I said the Queen was I'm dead last sure, year. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure she had some appearances in between that. No. Are you sure? At Christmas, she didn't even do her speech. Really? Yeah. No. So her health was just bad. I no, I think she was dead. Then. When did when did it was like the 69th year and then what? what yeah, was, it was 69. So they were like, that's kind of. When was this? Like when did it was turn like, 70? Though? Like two or three months ago, oh. and when they did it. She she didn't make any like public appearances and they had carriages going around with like holographic queens. I'm not even this sounds fucking tinfoil hat. I can show the video. A holographic queen. As in like a fucking like like just a screen window on the fucking thing of the queen <laughs> waving. A Michael Jackson hologram. Yeah, like the Tupac thing. Yeah. It, like and I was literally saying she's dead. Like she's fucking dead. There's no way. Yeah. And there was a couple of times where she was seen but never properly, and I was like I was proper tinfoil hat. I was like, it's a body double. I do not believe that's her in the slightest. Yeah. Everyone called me crazy. I said, I said, within this year, she'll be announced dead. Yeah, no, you weren't yeah. wrong with that mm. one. You hit that one on the fucking, on the head, like, which is just weird. That, oh, who gives a do shit? You know, do you know what the thing with the, with the world is though? Because of the fast access to everything, mm -hmm. some of the shit is right, but then at the same time, misinformation is rampant. Oh, yeah, it spreads like So wildfire. even if you're saying shit, like, remember the dewormer shit? Yeah. Because of how much shit is spewed on a daily, like, that just gets eaten up by the algorithm and spit out as 
the big bad. They fucked up real bad with that dewormer thing because it could have helped. Because so the thing people. is, like, yes, Joe Rogan said it, but, he, no, but he's only guy. he's only saying it because of the fucking experts in that area wasn't telling it, him. Wasn't it like in Brazil they actually did do it? It was, or is it like oh, that that you can use it? that? There was a country, I can't remember exactly the country, I think where it was they South had, American, I think it was India actually. Really? It was, I think it was India, and it probably uh, a South American country as well, where they didn't have the access to, to the proper medical, to um, like the amount of vaccines and the, stuff. The, the so fake they vaccine to, that doesn't work. The, vac- the vaccine. If you get your six shot, um, have you, you got your 27 shot of the you vaccine? Know, you'll, get, you'll still get COVID, but it won't be as bad. You might only lose your taste for six months. You might only have a mild cardiac arrest. Mild. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got more medication for bro, that. Bro, we've got the, more medication for that one. What did they put in my arm? <laughs> what? They put... I got COVID twice. I know, bro. I got COVID oh. twice after I got the vaccine. Oh. Never once did I get COVID while I, before remember, I was vaccinated. Remember, it was like, and that shit as well. Like, oh yes, get the vaccine. You won't be able to get COVID and you won't be able to spread it. And then everyone got the vaccine and then everyone got COVID and everyone spread it. I've, and then they were like, well, oh, wait, no, it's actually slightly different. It's before, like before, before we go any further, I feel like we sound like two tinfoil <laughs> No, this is all factual, though. No, but I mean, as in, this is not what the whole podcast is going to be about. No, I just no, we're just, we've got so much. We haven't done this in so long. We, yeah, need, to get we have to get this off we our chest. We need to get everything off the chest. What do you think about, like... <laughs> Damn, that's a pretty good one. Where'd you get that? <laughs> 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 oh my god, that's gonna be clipped. That's gonna be clipped, and it's just gonna be on repeat. But put it on TikTok. Sure, sure. Like, nah, shake my bussy. Sh- <laughs> Real hot girl shit. <laughs> Slay. 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 You don't need a man or trash. How do you feel about the? How do you feel about Tate being? Banned? We didn't even get onto the fucking. We were about to talk okay, about the okay, vaccine. We'll, we'll wrap this shit. We up. need to get it. Okay, so it. Um, Oh, fuck, what were we talking about? We were talking about the worm medicine. <laughs> like the worm medicine. <laughs> the worm medicine. So he fucked up because he got his information. They fucked up. So CNN and all fucked up because he got his information from real fucking experts in that field. Yeah. And then it came out afterwards that it does work. The country that, um, okay, so they didn't have access to the, the, the proper vaccines. like vaccine. They didn't have the money for that. So the, the country put together a protocol that is cheap, affordable, and effective mm. that actually it works. works. Well, not to get rid of COVID, it just reduced no, symptoms no, no. and made it better, didn't it? Not even preventative. Oh, really? Preventative, and also uh, when you do get it, it's, it's a treatment as well. And it worked uh, for that country. I need to, I need to rem- like to like I'll, Google I'll, that. I'll throw it. Throw a little here. thing there. Yeah. Um, and it was it was ivermectin, and it was like uh, certain vitamins, mm. like vitamin uh, vitamin D, as as their like treatment for the country. And yeah. the country had barely any cases at that point, and nobody was getting sick. And the, 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 they trialed that and it worked. They no, they didn't trial it. Well, they did trial they it, ran it. They ran but it, but they ran it and it worked. Mm. And then and then all the Western and then no, basically if you went against third world country shit, it was like it wasn't spoken about. But it, yeah. it's because if you went against, if you said anything against on. the agenda of the vaccine and wearing well, a mask, you get start, silenced. Even at the start, I was like, wear a mask. You're a dickhead. Don't go outside. And I will never ever judge people so quickly because they just got sick of it before i did yeah you know like literally not even got sick of it they just seen through it all yeah some people seen through it all you know some people, people are just like partying, i don't actually you know when people are partying at the start and living their life and you're like fucking dickheads at one point yeah i was like yeah. oh i can't believe they're doing this they're, they're doing that they're not they're not uh they're gonna ruin this country you're gonna, gonna, gonna kill all the old people kill them all that's what i say nowadays fucking stab your nanny in the face i don't care about that bitch <laughs> fuck that yeah literally yeah. I don't care about old people anymore. I don't. Hot take. Controversial. <gasps> Speaking of hot takes, let's talk about Top G. Let's talk okay, about Let's talk about Let's get into hey, it. Where's, where's, where's your Bugatti? What color is your Bugatti? Oh. So, Top G. How Andrew do you feel? Tate. How, Andy Tate. Not about what he's saying, but how do you feel about deplatforming? The thing about deplatforming. Like I think it's a very slippery slope. It's already been slid, bro. No, but the slope's been slid yeah, and at the bottom already, I suppose. and it's too late for the. It's now. It's not even a slope anymore, man. It's a vertical drop. Cause I get, I get Trump being kicked off Twitter because I there, don't. No, because there's a genuine threat there if shit goes wrong when you're the president. I got the, of I got the, the, the I got the reasons. The reason he got fucking in bits is because of him, uh, like trying to get people to storm the fucking capital. 
Yeah, and literally. it happened. That, it was, that's not okay. And it was crazy. That's don't not be, okay. Don't be doing that. Trump. That's not okay. Biden, never, he's a sneaky guy. I never said that. I never, <laughs> I never, I never said it once. We're going to bring the water back. We're going to bring the water back. Bye. Joe, bye. We need to, we need to get our yeah, Trump impressions down. I never I, said that. I never said it once. Okay, okay. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Okay. Albuquerque, I got your IP, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> that video is so good. <laughs> yeah. AI fucking it's voice things. No, that's are not that's crazy. not AI. That's that's just some guy. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they have she like um I think it was like Juice World or something. They're Maybe able to song, they're maybe? able to have it like fucking nearly spot on. Eventually, nobody will be able to tell the difference between. Oh no! Yeah, you know it's already if fucked. it actually it's already fucked. Uh, I think it's Alexa, but I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Alexa only has to listen to you say thirty words to be able to no, use the whole yeah, lexicon yeah, yeah, yeah. with your voice yeah. you know yeah. That's cool. like obviously it's fucking primitive as shit now but then also have you seen like it's all over my shit because I'm gonna into art but is it on yours the AI paintings yeah 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 They're an dead, AI though. painting won a fine art contest over humans last week in a really? in a photo that was rendered in five minutes there are some cool fucking paintings, though. No, but it's not so, paintings, but like you know, yeah, it's, pictures. It's impressive as fuck. But it's so it's scary. So impressive. It's oh, so it's scary. so scary. I feel like <laughs> this is this is a bit further down the line. I, I think it's called the. Oh, is it this? It's the symbiosis or this? Hmm. It's where like AI and humans Merge. just yeah. But it's I, it's but 20, I'm thinking, it's 2048 I'm thinking, or 2044 is the projected really? year. Okay. Yeah. We're, it's in our lifetime anyway. Do you want to hear something crazy? Wow. If you took all of human, or the whole history of the world, yeah, from from Big Bang to now, yeah, Big Bang to when humans first appeared. Hypothetically, man, because that might not happen. So in okay, whatever. In the span of <laughs> in the span of a whatever, fucking, do you? we're gonna we're gonna break it down for all of uh, universal history that we know. Of. We're gonna break it down here for you guys. <laughs> to to fucking now, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna put that into the ratio of one year, right? Right. So from January to December sixth is before humans came. From December sixth at twelve, like on the dot, like the start of that day, to six hours later, is where we are. In the span of like a year, do you get what I'm saying? Are you saying like relative? So January to December is pre-human era. Okay. Six hours in is where we are from that day. Okay. So the iPhone was developed in like ten minutes, like fucking yeah. a minute's time. Isn't it weird to think that like where the rest of it's gonna go? Yeah, mm. literally, because of how oh, small yeah. that span oh, is. Oh, this is all like all the fucking technology and all the shit That's that we've got going on years, is bro. just like man, they didn't have cars a hundred years ago. It's all in our lifetime. We didn't. They didn't have cars a hundred years ago. Mm. Am I not crazy? Did they not? No. A hundred years? No. A hundred years ago. Cars is like eighteen nineties. Is it? Yeah. Motherfuckers would just be like. Yeah, true. Guess, guess I'm walking. <laughs> guess I'm walking. <laughs> guess I'm walking. Henry Ford was like, is like the biggest producer of cars, I think. But... Yeah, General Motors, baby. Let me just uh, tilt my phone this way, as every man does, to get rid of the porn. <laughs> Safety first, guys. How often do you be beating your meat, bro? <laughs> no, you're good now. You're fucking booed up. You when you've got a girlfriend. I just looked up porn. <laughs> yeah. That happens, though. When you're thinking yeah. of something and you just type it in, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, it's just Pavlov's dog, though. I'm so used to fucking yeah. looking up porn. Yeah. Uh, John, I was talking about the, the earlier today. What? I was talking about if I'm in bed lying down on my phone, my dick is just in my hand. Even if I'm just scrolling through TikTok, I'm just holding my dick. You're just I'm not, ready. I'm not like beating Bro, it. you're just, just ready to go. I just have my hand on my dick. You're just ready to go. That, do you do that? No. Never? Never. Really? No. Unless I'm fucking like... You never just like slide it down there just for comfort. I genuinely don't. Fair enough. I don't know what it is. What was I looking at? When was That's something care? children do. Yeah. And do you know the reason is for that? First car, 1886, yeah? Wow. Literally like a fucking 100, 120 years ago. Holy shit. Like this. We've just evolved. Man, there wasn't iPhones. Or devolved. There wasn't iPhones like 10 years ago. Yeah. That's crazy. It, can you imagine your life with like a fucking blocky now? No. That's the thing. Do you ever just think like, 
how what like, the fuck would we be at how streamlined life is nowadays yeah like remember when like you used to just get in the car and go to someone's house and they just might not be there yeah <laughs> you just have to be like okay like, guys, i wonder if oh, we're, we're, gonna... Go we're going to auntie's house oh she's not there you have to knock yeah in for everybody if you wanted to see somebody that day you had to knock in the cars weren't in the drive they're not we home. were literally the last generation of kids to go out literally. and play if you go out and play now like you're poor you're not poor, it's just weird, you're though. You're poor. You're poor. Only poor kids go out and play. Because <laughs> they don't have an Xbox. Don't have, yeah, they don't have Fortnite. They don't have an Xbox. <laughs> Literally, they don't have Fortnite. Or a PlayStation. Mm. Damn. It, well, it's weird thing. <laughs> like, Even, like, do you know what's so primitive to me? What? Like, owning a Skybox is, like, old. We have Skybox. Yeah, but, like, how often are you using your Sky? The only thing I use is F1. Is F1. But that's, F1 because, that's because you literally cannot watch it on any yeah, other you, platform. You can't, yeah. Like, if you didn't have Sky, you'd be ripping it, though. You wouldn't be buying Sky. No. You'd be torrenting yeah, it yeah, and streaming yeah. it, yeah. Like, the idea of going and, like, not just being able to watch something when I want to watch it with no ads is jarring to me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Remember, like, when you're a kid, you, like, miss the TV show. It's like, that's it. You just have to wait for it to come back on. And then yeah, you have to get like, the you have to get the replay. I remember I got like when you could record shit. Box. When you could I felt record like shit, fucking yeah. Marty McFly. Yeah. <laughs> that would, but you can only you can only have a certain thing at a time. Yeah, you can only have a certain <laughs> amount of things on your yeah your disc space. Yeah, yeah. It was like two gigs. Yeah, it was like four. We used to burn we used to burn CDs of like rugby matches and all. Did you just have the pirate copy guy? We that was one thing we had like a friend who had them and we could just get them off. Of yeah, them. did you did you we have the pirate copy guy? Like, did he just pull up to the gaff with the gym bag of yeah, like yeah. all the new DVDs? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just, feel like every Irish estate had him. Yeah, I used to call him DVD Eddie. He was a traveler. DVD Eddie. He used to come around with his big bag. He'd be like, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna show and uh, uh, meet the Robinsons. <laughs> meet the Robinsons. <laughs> oh my god, how times have changed. Yeah, I used to throw my phone over a lamppost and try and catch it on the other side. Imagine trying to do that with your iPhone. Now. Yeah, that's like rent. Yeah, literally. A fucking grand. I remember like... The new iPhones are 1,300. God, that's ridiculous though. It's a bit crazy. I, I, like, see, I'm a, I'm a beer, bro. I'm about to expose, <laughs> expose myself. Look at the back of my phone. Look at this shit. Look at the back I still of the use an iPhone 8, bro. I have a home button. I have a fucking... You have a home button? I have a home button. Oh my God. It's not working, but I, I swear <laughs> it's there. <laughs> it doesn't work, but it's there. Yeah. Fuck. Even now, when I when I hold like an iPhone 10, I don't know how to use it. I, yeah, you, you picked up my phone and you were kind of like, I was just thinking. Yeah, I was like, literally, <laughs> I, I don't like them. Oh, you would if you had one, man. It really is good. What I like about my phone is that it is just that. It's a phone. It's not just a phone, though. That's what just I like. A, just a phone is a Nokia. Yeah, but that's what I like about it. As in, I remember like when I used to photoshop shit from my instagram you know what i mean i'd have to photoshop it on a computer mm. and export it to my phone and i felt like i was doing something but now it's like you can do you can edit this whole podcast on the phone if you wanted to yeah back in my day when i was recording minecraft let's plays that no one will ever see you couldn't do that no one should ever see <laughs> no <laughs> god no i hope nobody ever sees oh <laughs> jesus christ and was... back in the day uncensored no it wasn't even it's just cringe just un unfiltered cringe yeah yeah I always had a, I always had a head when, apart from like Instagram back in the day, but I always had that mindset of like internet awareness of like the shit I say is like you can't undo Out there. it, yeah. Out there. And like the nuance is taken away because it can be clipped and just taken out of context. Speaking of taken out of context, Tate. Andy Tate, how do we see, tangent away from that? See, the thing about Tate is, yeah. A lot of valid points, but at the same time, some of the shit he says, like, just can't. <clears throat> I can't co-sign. No. I don't, we're women, we're woman pilot. You think I want a woman flying a plane? The plane's fucking in turbulence. You we're in turbulence. We're in a fucking storm, right? We're in a fucking storm, right? Who the women in there? I said, get me a fucking beer. I'll fly a plane myself. <laughs> <laughs> I said, go get me a fucking beer. I'll fly the fucking plane. <laughs> Under high stress situations. I love the faces. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> a woman. <laughs> The thing is, right, I feel like that part of him in everything and all those has little been clips has taken. been clipped and ran with, right? The narrative I think, has I been think, changed on him. Yes, of course. The shit, some of the shit that he says, I don't even think he agrees with some of the shit that he says sometimes. It's provocative. It's it provocative. Going. It's provocative. But the true, true message true, that he was trying to get true to people is that the world is losing 
masculine men the world needs mm. ma sorry needed masculine men back in the day and now there's no use for them anymore so people are trying to drop people there, there's a fucking and throw massive them use down. for them of course there is there's people crying out but for not apprenticeships really. and you know what i mean like else. we're not in any wars we're not trying to rebuild fucking I countries i think masculinity is dead but i don't think it should be no, that's what he's trying yeah, to promote. Yeah, yeah. He thinks that masculinity is dead and everyone's a soft fuck. And I feel like last year, if you'd asked me this, I'd have a completely different opinion. But now that, like... Like, I, I was going to keep this... Now that I picked up some fucking iron, literally, I just started... Literally, literally. Mm. And I, like... <laughs> for, for men, uh, this is, like, exclusively for men, this part, because... Um, I don't know. I'm not a woman. I can't, I can't comment on the, yes. the woman experience. But... What I needed was to be told I was a bitch and I was a pussy and I need to fucking put in the work and I need to know what hard work is and I need yeah. drive and I need motivation and you it needs need to be internal, to have it needs to come shit. from me. You need to have that I need that to feel shit. like a man. You do Men, and you see it all the fucking time, men are going, fuck, they're becoming slow, fat, sloppy lazy, lazy unmotivated creatures yeah. like that's not what a man should be in my opinion no. at all that, first of all that's not what anyone should be no one should be like that and that's what everybody like, and like big up, big up the girls for being like okay we'll, we'll just be the men they're picking it up they're, they're picking, picking up, up some slack. slack they're doing like, it better than us they're picking up some slack they're doing it better than us but like that's the thing he's not going to speak for women He's no. not gonna speak. He's not it's there just to speak. Some of the shit he says about them, where it's like, so, yeah, yeah. like gender roles, women belong in the kitchen. I don't, I don't believe I don't that believe at all. That. Not yeah, one no, that's, bit. That's not like whatever you want to do, you can do. You have absolute freedom. To clarify, out of every woman I've ever slept with, I'm a better cook than the fall. Though I just want to say that some bitches be. Y'all gonna look. step your game up, man. There's some bitches I know who couldn't find a fucking spoon in a cereal bowl. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I like. Like some of the shit he says out of pocket. No, some of the shit he says out of pocket, but some of the shit he says is necessary. Also, take a joke. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Remember remember 2006 YouTube where white people would just be dropping M bombs? Yeah, that, that was a wild time. Until PewDiePie went on the bridge. Oh, what, what a, a fucking. fucking <laughs> <laughs> he fucked up with that one. No, but like, <laughs> the thing is, the message, the message that he sends for men embrace masculinity. Embrace masculinity. Become a strong, independent person. Strong, independent, mentally strong and physically strong person. And be driven and motivated and like fucking do something with yourself. Yeah, yeah. And especially the shit he says, I, I 100% am a firm believer of. He says, if you are not successful, you are one of these three things. You're arrogant, you're lazy, or you're stupid. Nail on the head. Mm. Like that's facts. Mm. And I can look at myself and be like, okay, I'm this or yeah that. but you, the thing is no we didn't have a person to say that also i'd like to point out andrew tate only exists because of how every single cultural movement works okay so in the 70s you have the hippies right that's where i'm going some more with this no sorry we'll start at 60s right because that's kind of when our generation of humans and evolution kicked off okay so the 60s you have like everyone's coming out of the war there's the cold war the americans are in a space race and all yeah mm -hmm. everything is real vietnam war then you have the counterculture to that which is the hippies mm -hmm. then you have the counterculture Peace, to that, love and which positivity. is the, which is the baby boomers business and all yeah. then you have the counterculture to that which is the 90 kids fuck you all we're gonna live in lofts act like friends be broke then you have the counterculture to that which is after 9 11 it's like oh uh, everything's kind of like joked we're degenerates like mm. it's it's the it's the opposite of that it's like it's not cool to be like fucking long hair Kurt Cobain yeah and it's cool to be ironic mm. you know mm -hmm. then 2010 it's like oh ironic you can't do that anymore white people can't say those words you can't say this you can't do that there's pronouns now that's the counterculture we're in now is mm. the PC culture yeah and Andrew Tate is just a byproduct of that the opposite of it yeah yeah you're always going to need the someone to counter the zeitgeist yeah there's always going to be that switch. Yeah. Always going to be that switch. And that that's all he is. He is a byproduct of uh, feminism, not feminism, sorry. Uh, like the woke movement. Yeah. You're not allowed to be a fucking... You can't do oh, this, you toxic, can't do that, you can't say that. Toxic, 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 toxic microaggression trigger. Exactly. But then... It's yeah, like, shut the fuck up. Like. You, you look at the opposite side of that. It's like, oh yeah, you made some great points, but now you've gone too far. 
Mm. Sorry, not that's not the opposite. But like, oh, the woke movement at the start, Me Too movement, great. Like all that shit. Yeah. Like fucking oh, women get to do more and like they're seeing like more as like not people, but like they, you know what I mean. Like women aren't women. They didn't they're not have, this object. Yeah, they didn't like, have an opportunity. They didn't have opportunities. They weren't like fucking yeah, respected. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's no respect. Go there. for that. And now that's that's and, coming. And like, in, but like now people are gonna about, run too far. But then men learn about shit like rape culture. Like you know, just to be aware of like oh well, you can go for a walk at this time. She can't like. Yeah. You know, like that's she yeah, that's shouldn't. great. It's great to be like aware of these things. Are you saying like <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? She shouldn't. Shouldn't be able to? No. Oh, for oh, safety. Oh, like. oh, yeah. Like she shouldn't have to fear for yeah. her fucking life walking out. Of course, yeah. yeah. No, That's but she said you shouldn't be able to go for a walk. No. <laughs> at night time. No, no. The, you, women curfew. You can do what you want, but I wouldn't if I was you. Do you know what I mean? Like you shouldn't yeah. do that. You shouldn't put yourself in that situation. Yeah. We can do that. No problem. No yeah. fear. Well, and then, but then you have like that evolved into. There should be a men curfew. Men should not be allowed out for yeah. this time. Then, then there was the all men thing. Yeah. And it's like, what are you talking about? Like, mm. what so, are you saying? Well, what happens when you have the all men? Men are trash, men are stupid, women are bosses, girl power, girl yeah, power, yeah. slave. And then it just you becomes, get Andrew Tate. Yeah, you get Andrew Tate. That's what that's, happens. That's what happens yeah. when you do this. You yeah. brought it on yourself. All men are trash. And it's this funny thing, right? Like, all men are trash. And you hear them say, it, and you even mm. have a conversation with them. They're like, all men are trash. And you go, Oh, okay, am I trash? And they go, oh, no, you're oh, no, okay, you're, you're, you're okay. fine. But, like, all men are trash. But so, it's basically, like, any man men. that you don't like. And then any man that you don't know. Yeah. Any man that you don't know is, a fi- is like, before is you they, even know they them, they're trash. saying all black people, like, commit crimes. Yeah. Like, it's just dumb. It's a stupid it's argument. It's just dumb. Yeah. It's like, and also, I'd like to point out. It's like, out, all Indian people love curry. <laughs> <laughs> but they do. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't love no, curry? No, they don't. Who doesn't love curry? Who doesn't love curry? <laughs> oh, can we just curry time? Curry time! Bing, 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 That's not really Indian. That's no, more, but if you go ding, get it. I'd like to point out, we're not racist, we're not misogynistic. We don't need to point out. We're not homophobic. We don't need to point out. We're just assholes. <laughs> Equally. Equally. I don't like anybody. No, I fucking hate everyone. There's a few people I can tolerate. Yeah. And I like to you're point out. You're a fucking, you're very, like you're. I'm um, good at it. A minuscule uh, portion of people in my life that I actually like. But you, I, I, I can be a, I can be an IRL asshole. Like if oh, someone's yeah. doing something I don't like, I'm like, hmm, I'll do that. And I like that about it's myself. It's good to be that way. I feel like everyone needs that person who can bring humility, which is so funny because of how narcissistic and big my own ego is. But you know what I found as well? Since starting the gym and like eating better and like doing less drugs and like not giving in to temptation all the time and just being a little gremlin i find my ego has actually killed itself not completely obviously but it, it's obviously but it's completely it's shrunk i feel like an ego is a great thing if it's yeah if it's if it's channeled into certain an ego you need to you can't First of all, you need ego for confidence. Yeah, that's fine. Every human has ego, regardless of if they show it or not. I never masked mine. If you talk to me like yes, a year ago, yes. I could do whatever the fuck I want. I'm yeah. great. You're you you're know? you're more vocal about it than yeah. other people. Yeah. Than, than me, for example. I, 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 but I feel like at that point, I was also like, I would use other things to validate my ego that weren't actually, what's the words I'm looking for? I didn't deserve the ego I had. Yeah. It was too big for for, for yeah, me yeah, and I what I'd you accomplished yeah, yeah, yeah. and what I'd done. Yeah. You know? For who you were at that time. Exactly. Yeah. And now that I'm actually a better person, not even like subjectively, objectively, I'm a better person mm-hmm. compared to who I was last year. I'm to yourself. And, I, and I'm not, yeah, yeah, but I'm not, uh, I'm not stroking my own dick here. These are just facts. I'm in better shape. I'm eating better. I'm healthier. Yeah. And I have a clearer vision on the world. My ego has actually shrunk. Yeah. Y- you know? Big time. Because, because I don't but need that. But that's good. That. But I don't need to validate myself by saying these things about myself. Well, I feel like, like there's a saying, the, the, was it like the real. loudest no the loudest person in, in the, the room, room is the most like self-conscious or the yeah, most yeah always of course yeah. yeah because like they so subconsciously in their head they I'm proving points they don't think in their own head yeah, that so they're I, as I good so they have myself. to big themselves up yeah. to make them feel how they think they should feel whereas if you actually are that person real recognize really if you actually are that person you don't need to 
yeah, try and yeah, act yeah, like yeah. you're something that you're not because exactly. you are that exactly also though, i feel like i had this weird level of imposter syndrome where i was like playing a character yeah. almost so to the point where like oh, i'm the ego guy so i'll you big, big up it the up ego. exactly but that's just fucking tiring bro it, it is it's tiring and nowadays i feel like my social battery is even less because i just i i don't not that even before i never like first of all anyone who tells you they they don't care about shit cares about shit everybody cares doesn't matter who you are you know the coolest people are like i don't care about, about certain things. shit yeah no but everyone cares what people think about them you fucking do to a certain extent why do you what you do you, get? you want like like i, would, I for want me, right, people to view me i would i would X like my, my friends and my mm. family the people i i don't so the thing is i don't care about what people think about me if i don't care about them of course so why I, would I but i care about my friends I and care my family my, so yeah. i care about what they think about exactly. me exactly yeah that's what i mean yeah but like to say that oh i don't care about what people think of me that's just a lie everyone cares what people think about yeah me. flat out lie yeah and but i feel they like probably care the most i feel like when you like I, my idea of self love was based off Other what people. I no was based off of like what I had and how I presented myself as opposed to who I was. Yeah. And now that it's done the shift, I actually care less about what yeah. people think about me, mm. even more so than I even thought was possible when I genuinely thought I didn't care what people thought about yeah. me. Which is great. You I'm know, so glad like, that you've came to that yeah, realization. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you, that's the thing though. If you're secure, if you're secure, and that's a, that's another thing with the Andrew Tate thing. He wants you to be a respectable person to yourself. Mm. You, you Like, a strong, like, independent yeah, man, mentally and, and physically. So then you know yourself, mm. what you are, what you're capable of, and you give less fucks about what people think you are and what you're capable of. Mm. And that's the big thing. That's the big shift. And yeah. Once you do that shift, it's like, oh, okay. People's opinions on me actually don't matter much at all. Obviously, you want people to like you and you want people to... But then they, but this, the little no, shit... No, people's opinions don't matter at all. But at the same time, people I care about, it's not, it's not their opinions. I want to be a good person for those people, mm. you know? You want to be able to be yeah, a good person yeah, for those yeah, people. Exactly. If, you're, if you're not in a good place mentally and you're only really caring about this and that and like what reaction you get off people or how mm. other people view you... You're like, not going to be I able knew, to be I knew if person. I said X thing, I, I would get Y reaction. Yeah. So I said X thing, you know? Anything. Just to fucking have that little spark of like, oh, he thinks I'm it, it's, it's great to have, though. It's good it's to a, have, but you have to be secure but at the yourself, same time, though. It wasn't even that. It's just I overdid it. Yeah. You know? I won't lie. And this is me genuinely honest. Mm. I, like, I didn't fucking like <laughs> No, no. Well, no. Kind of. <laughs> there, was a, there was a certain, <laughs> like period <coughs> there was a certain period was <laughs> take a drink bro oh, that does 50 nick <laughs> <laughs> over 9000 <000. laughs> <laughs> oh, i look bro. like the cope me oh i'm not going to drink a yeah, drink bro man yaks off camera don't you dare yak off camera bro that's Get views that's yak views. you're going to yak you can do it right here i can take it i can take it <laughs> So there was a there was a cert, there was a small period of time. What, what are we talking? Give me a, give me a ballpark. A couple of months. No, when? A couple of months ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a couple of months ago, for about a month, mm. where I I literally I just couldn't be around you. Oh yeah, I know. Like I I, just, I, I could tell. It was just I could tell. I just kind of distanced myself yeah. a little bit, and I was just like, he needs to just kind of chill out. You know what I mean? Mm. There was a certain small period of time where it was just like taxing to be around to be around you i understand that yeah. you know what i mean where you were going over the top of everything and it was mm. always something to say or always something like do you know what i mean i think that's when i was at my uh the kind of the crescendo yeah of of the way i used of to that, be that stage so it was kind of like getting it all out before yeah, yeah. new period oh no don't worry bro I understood. Yeah. I was like, this motherfucker don't like me. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. I was so short with you. And I was like, I just, I don't, I don't like, it was just, it, obviously it had, obviously like my own shit had a part to play in that where I'm like, bro, I don't have fucking like time me, for that's, this shit. That's fine, bro. It's not even, I didn't, it, obviously I'm never going to not like you. Yeah, you can't bro. It's Hensy's the kooky little queer. It's the kooky little queer. <laughs> uh, 
we hear it. <laughs> slur, blurred out. You can say hung, queer. Hung, queer hung. is not a slur. That's in LGBTQ. Yeah, but if you're using it in a negative way. You just slur. call me, how is that? I'm a quirky little queer. That's you're funny. You're a quirky little queer. You're a little funny. Thing. Yeah, it was just like, it was like, there was always something and it was just taxing and like tiring to be around you at I don't that understand stage. that because I didn't even like myself. So yeah, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. But you came out of it. I feel like I always have that. I was like, I just needed a little break, you know? Man, there's so many, like literally every day I come home and I think like, Jesus Christ, I must be draining to be around. At that point. No, like, even now. Even now? Yeah. You're not trying to be around now. I just feel like I, I still overdo it. I feel like I'm more aware of In, it. I mean, it depends. Like, you have to... Like, there's, there's times to overdo it, and there's I, times I, to not overdo I'm it. I'm Marmite, though. Like, you love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know? Yeah. And, and most of the time, I love it. But then yeah, sometimes... But then, but then you have yeah, one bite of it, and it just went... But it also, the, it also... It depends on, like, the situation. Like, if I'm in work, like... You might not know that I'm fucking stressed to bits or whatever, and then you're just. I, know, I could tell for that whole period. Don't worry, bro. <laughs> I could tell for that whole time. I was like, this guy don't like me. I was like, okay, <laughs> okay. He's doing his thing. Yeah, no. That's funny that you said that. Shit happens. Like you just have to allow it. Yeah, it yeah. happens all the time. Yeah, of course, it happens with people. It happens with friends. It happens with yeah, family. Yeah, but see, the thing is, the fact that we can like say that to each other, and like that's fine. Yeah. I have I have friends who I couldn't say that with, and I like I don't like. Yeah. You know, and like it's draining to be around them. Yeah. Like still. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, it's not you. Yeah, you know. No, it's not me. Yeah, I wouldn't be here if it was me. Mm. But we've always. <laughs> We've always had that though. Like we always, we, we understand each it's other. It's respect. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We always, we understand each other very well. That's yeah. the thing. We don't need to, it doesn't need to be said really. Nah. Like after the fact, okay, yeah, you can speak about it. But like, yeah, it's like. If it, either it of us were is. going down a path that we didn't think was fit for each other, we would pull them out and call them out on their bullshit. Not even pull them out because I don't think, I think as friends, we wouldn't do that to each other. I think. We would let each other figure it out because that would be the thing for us. But at the same time, we'd be like, here, X ain't on. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. If there's like, yeah. a, if there's like a, a certain thing that happened. Yeah. 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 You, you get called out in that. But like, oh, of course. if it's just like a, a period of like a, of like a, a, a thing going on, if, if I'm pissing you off, yeah. you're pissing me off. It's kind of just, okay, I'm going to leave him to whatever he's got going on. Figure that out and then yeah. come back to it. Not many people have that though. So many fake friends. Yeah. How many of us? How many others? <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, I, this is completely based off the people we're around. Because I feel like our work environment is very high school-esque. There's hierarchies, there's groups, there's social status. And I don't know how those girls in that situation function. They don't have any real friends. They could not have this conversation. I don't give a fuck, man. I would say this to their faces. They can't say this to each other. They can't have these conversations. They will be gassing each other. I feel like girls do it differently, though. But then one of them walks out of the room and is like, oh, she's a fat cunt. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah, yeah, though? Yeah, yeah. No, I understand that, of course. Yeah. But like, but I feel like the way that the psychology of men Versus in male like friendships female, and yeah. male relationships compared to female relationships they deal with things like that way different <laughs> the, the you ever see that guy the fucking philosopher the, yeah 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 the fucking okay, Russian, so, so the Russian guy males, males in their social groups okay oh, hold on wait let me get I can actually do his accent like bang on okay just every don't, time I, just every, don't spit on me every bro. time I go on camera <laughs> I don't know what it is but like any kind of impression or yeah. accent I do you just fucking out the window you just butcher it I bottle it you yeah. just butcher it okay so uh, men when they are in their social groups we do this thing where we will make fun of each other and we will have a, a get dirty talk for 15 minutes I will say the worst thing about your mother and your, your girlfriend and this and then afterwards we can have the real conversation okay <laughs> yeah. that's actually not a bad like I can do it better. Wait, wait till we're off cam, man. I'll fucking blow your mind. I'll fucking blow your mind, dude. <laughs> but, um, no, I've seen those videos of him, and he's a he, weird con. He's great, though. But he is he's good. He says some. He, so he says some good stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, like the, the 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 psychology between it is, men, right? So if you're a true friend to a man, right, you'll just say it. You'll just yeah, you'll yeah, have yeah. a you'll have to have a conversation about it because it mm. won't work. It's either you say it or you won't speak again. 
Mm. It has to be addressed. Mm. For women, they kind of just brush it under the carpet, don't speak about it, and then it just builds. Builds and then it explodes. It just builds and builds and then explodes. And stops and builds and explodes. Yeah, yeah, you have a huge scrap of it. Men won't have a big... Unless it's like a fucking massive but, but, deal. But the, and I don't know because... I, how could I? I'm talking about just girls on girls. Like, converse. I think it's because girls don't... No, but the girls... slag. The, that's That's what I was going to say. The girls have that, like... No. Bro, you look like a goofy bat. No, they don't. Yeah, that's what I'm... They go to the fucking stadium. Like, yeah, like, like, they don't shit. have that. Like, we you know what that is, though? Do you other. know what that is? Oh. It immediately brings the tension in the room down because everyone is humbled. Mm. And then you can have a real conversation and talk about whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? First thing I'll say when I see you is you walk into work like a... <laughs> yeah. and that immediately the tension's broke you go okay well you're a specky little retard yeah, so. yeah, yeah. and then you're a dribbler and then we're immediately we're about here it's just boom yeah and then we can have a normal day yeah whereas girls don't do that they gas each other up they gas each other the up they literally gas yeah, each other up like oh my god I love your leggings I love your leggings they're it's like, so, Sarah, so you're cute you're a bitch you're a fucking you're a bitch <laughs> You're that. You're, no, you're that bitch. You're, you're not just a bitch. You're that bitch. I wish I was you. Slash, I slash. wish I was you. I was like, I fucking hate you. I, but then, and then behind the back, you're like, Alex. Did you see that Sarah one? Sarah, her arm fat was sticking out of her brassiere. <laughs> <laughs> fat bitch. That fat fucking bitch. I bet you she's never done a walk in her whole life. I did 2K yesterday. <laughs> I did 2K. Bitch is post her Apple Watch. It's like, okay. Ah. Your body's function. Well done. <laughs> well done. You can walk. Well done. You can walk for 10 well, minutes. Well, for 10 minutes in your hour you went up. Bro, you're... Do you think there's any people who, like, do, like, fucking 15 Jumbo Jacks and then push-ups and then post their Apple Watch just to see? Yeah, probably, bro. It definitely is. Fuck me, like... Do you think anyone jailbreaks their Apple Watch? So <laughs> fake. They've got their phone number on the fucking steps. No, over COVID. Remember when people were posting their runs? I don't give a fuck about your run. Oh, and then your one did the fucking, uh... She broke the world record for the 10k. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and everyone was like, I don't think you did that. She's running in like fucking nine minutes. Did, yeah. She did. This bitch running like a fucking Nissan Micro. <laughs> yeah. She fucking drove her car around the block for like. What was your pace? 60 kilometers an hour. 60 kilometers an hour. It's like, mm, I don't think you can do that. It's like the best the best male athlete in the world couldn't do that. Like, <laughs> and you think you anyone can You think do some that. average Joe could get off the couch? A fucking. Some bitch in fucking Tundalkin was like, oh, yeah, I did that. It's, it, it's so back. funny. The lengths people will go to, like, appear as something. Appear as something. Everything's a fucking front. It's a game. It's a game. It's a game. Like, Twitter is the... the Twitter is the... the game, brother. Twitter, Twitter is you <laughs> say funny things and you get points for it. No. Twitter is just arguments now. No, it's Everyone's actually... It's actually come around, it, no, it's actually come around so much compared to how much of a cesspool it was. It used to be really? so much worse. It's just toxic. Now, now there's no arguments. It's just ratio. Yeah, but that's so dumb. Like the thing is, Twitter's Twitter is fucking great though. If you're like, if you're, I, if you're a spectator, it's is great. If you're a spectator, but it's not good for the people involved. I don't think. Like, people try to have shout out corn on Twitter, by the way. People no, but people try to have conversations as if you were having a conversation in person on Twitter, and it doesn't work because text is so like. You can look at a text and you can interpret it one way and it wasn't meant that way in the slightest. And that's the, that's the, that's the downfall of it. Like People might say something and then someone goes, oh, I didn't like the way that sounded in their own head. And then they start a big fucking argument about it. And then people are just constantly Sorry, fucking arg arguing every not, two fucking seconds. Sorry, I'm just clarifying. I'm like ignoring you. I just, I'm just looking up something because I was literally listening to a podcast on this topic, but I can't think of what it's called. What the podcast is? No, 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 no. The, the the point. Oh. It's like a... I forget the name of it, but it's basically this thing where... After X number, which is 150. So you're, you as a person can only actually know, register, care about, and... Like... Have a level of reality and humanism with 150 people, okay? Okay. That's it. Because back in Mesolithic and Neolithic times, that's how many were probably in your circle, that's your in your tribe. village, yeah, your tribe. So you care about what all those people think of you, their impressions of you, and it keeps you grounded and in line. Yeah. So when your followers exceeds that, you don't care because it's not real to you. You can't. You have no concept of mm -hmm. what's. You can't imagine realistically what seven hundred people look like in a room. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're not built for that. So when I'm on Instagram, I'm playing a character. 
you know, because I don't care about those fucking 700 people. Yeah. However, I only follow like 130. I know all those people and I care about what every one of those people thinks of me. And I could probably name everyone I follow. I cannot name any of the 600 people who follow, follow me. You. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't care about yeah. them. It's irrelevant. Yeah. No, but I again, in, in the same podcast that I was listening to, um, I'll, I'll send you the link to it. Um, they were talking about that specifically. They were talking about, like, people aren't meant to be in groups of more than 150, 150 people. people. That's it. I forget that's the number. I'll not, put it up on that's screen. That's just not how it works. That's not yeah. how our brains work. No, because you can't register past it. Yeah. You only it does something to the to the brain where it just fucking it scrambles it and yeah. they're like, oh, this isn't what we're we're not supposed to be living on top of each other. We're not supposed to be no. doing that shit at all. We're all crammed into a one thing, and it's just like. That's why I unfollowed everyone. I think it was because I was like, I don't know this person. I don't care about their life, and I don't need to see them doing well. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, literally. I couldn't. I really. I've never given a shit about social media. Not yeah, one time. That's such a good. I don't even go have, on Twitter. Though. I don't even, I look at my Instagram every once in a while, but I just see fucking whatever, like F1 posts or like. Instagram have fucked it because they're so scared of TikTok. You do, do you know it's on Instagram? You don't even see your friends' posts anymore. Yeah, not once, yeah. And also, if anyone's wondering whether Instagram likes or down, it's because the algorithm has changed. It, like, unless you're posting reels, your, your shit isn't going out to people. That's just how it works now. Mm. So you can stop worrying, you're not less popular. It's just the fucking but algorithm. But it doesn't matter. No, but people. That's the thing. But I, I can say that. But at the same time, I can't, I can't sit here in front and be like, I don't feel good or validated by likes. You know what I mean? To yeah, a but degree. that's how you've, you've always been like. Yeah, that, of though. course. And the thing, but I think my. That's inst- part of it. I think my Instagram is one of those things though. Where it's like I built it for years, and it's just this huge library. That for me, it's kind of like a hobby. Yeah. And I, but I, don't, I also don't think it's a negative hobby for me because I will always post. It becomes what I want. oh yeah, you do what you do what you want. Yeah, but like it becomes a problem. When people, like like with the thing that we were saying earlier on about what people other people think about you and all. Yeah, when if you actually care. When you really care about to the point where the image like, of it. Yeah. Instead of caring about oh I like how this l- so I did this little dumb, thing man. I put these little things. Imagine together. having great memories with your friends and you don't want to post it because you think you look bad in the picture. Mm. It's so dumb. It's to so me. dumb. That's why, I, I, and I find myself uh, perusing it every now and again. Facebook has actually come around. People just post. Anytime I see young people using Facebook, it's just a photo dump, which is great. Mm. <laughs> I, ha- I haven't touched. Facebook. Too bad it's on Facebook. Now, when I say I use Facebook, it's like once a month. Mm. I like looking at people. I haven't looked at Facebook. Yo, Facebook just is degenerates. It's just pregnant single moms like fucking post and it's really weird and and then like fake news and misinformation <laughs> yeah. what, what was i reading on facebook like the other day i think it was uh oh someone died who like didn't die oh yeah, no they're... no it was it was it was will smith uh like it was a fake thumbnail it says will smith uh says jada is a fucking cunt or something <laughs> and i was like no he didn't he's bitch with he didn't say that he's a pussy that's a mad situation he's beta that's yeah. a mad situation but like, like Facebook, I think it was, um, there was a thing, there was a study done where, not study, but like they, they no, showed that. No, Facebook last year got cri- sued. No, but it was Christian, um, 90% of all Christian pages on Facebook Had, like, fake news were Russian, no, were Russian oh, yeah. troll farms. And they're just fucking feeding little things to people. And like, that's the thing, you don't know where it's coming from. Facebook got done last year because they were literally... They knew the negative effects of Instagram, social media, and Facebook uh, for young people, especially young girls. I think it was like 13 or 15 yeah, girls, yeah. and they just didn't give a fuck because they profited off it. No, but the thing is, what can they do? They can literally change their algorithm and just not have that. Not have what? Bullying? Oh, no, no I'm not talking about bullying. I'm talking about like... Online safety. I, I don't know how to net it, but you... surely a billion dollar company... Yeah, but it's got there's more people on Facebook. No, because you make world. more profit when you're angry and sad. If you're if you're yeah. happy, you don't buy something. Yeah, yeah. yeah but if you're happy and fulfilled, you don't need to buy feed a skincare. Off that shit. Oh, I'm not saying that they, 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 they don't do that. You yeah, know? yeah, no, they're, they're doing that yeah, for sure. They know what to do. But how do you fix it? I don't think you can fix it. 
you, they, you build the platform business. to be it's that. It's a business. They're gonna they're gonna run like a business. They're gonna get clicks. It's, they're gonna get everything. They're gonna provoke people to to move a certain way or get clicks in a certain thing. Do you know what the worst fucking thing is? What? Snapchat media. Do you know what the fucking news things that pop up? Do you ever click into them? No, they say, you know, no, they say a headline, you go into it, and it's got absolutely nothing I to do with the fucking, fucking headline. I fucking love Snapchat. I fucking love it. You know Snapchat why? Snapchat itself. The whole thing. I love Snapchat. Do you know why? Why? Snapchat has always stuck to its roots and kept its ethos. You don't have to go to that side if you don't want it. it will, you'll never be bombarded with a story you don't want to see. Yeah, you might yeah, see yeah. an ad that you can immediately skip. Yeah. You don't have to touch any of those panels. And all those panels are drivel and bullshit and crap. Oh, they are bullshit. Oh, I fucking crap. They got me. Yeah. I click on it fucking and it doesn't tell James you anything. James was telling me that he finds himself getting lost in them and I'm like, you're literally a fucking wet brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how. You, literally, wet brain. Snapchat, you open it. It's on the chat. You go to your side with your friends. Yeah. You don't ever have to touch the story. You don't ever side, have to touch it. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. But when you do... It's a fucking, it's a piece of shit. It's a piece of shit. It's a tabloid thing where they just have this mad headline and you're like, oh, I'd like to know what this is. And then they don't tell you the fucking thing. It's dribble. It's absolute waffle dribble shit in the pants. It's waffle in the pants. Shit going bang. Hang, hang, hang. (laughs) Shit sword. I'm going to break my monitor. (laughs) Remember that gun? I'm going to break my monitor. I'm going to break my monitor. What else is going on? All right, let's talk about us because we we, we we haven't really got into <laughs> we, us. We've only talked about us, bro. We uh, we dropped the song. We dropped the song. Lost in everything. Shit slaps. Banger. It, Banger. it was nice to break away from rap. Yeah. It was. It was. You have your thoughts on that. Get into it. On rap. Yeah. Just I mean, on your own personal shit. Like I don't know if there's if there's any more depth to what you said to me, but. No, like the the thing the thing with that is right. You can only do something for so long. Like we were doing, like first when of we all, first started, rap as a whole, not even with just those. Rap is dead. It's ass as a, as a medium. It's, it's ass dying. Cheese. When Drake is dropping a dance album, rap is dying. You know that. Yeah. Like, like it just doesn't. Like it's not that it doesn't even appeal to so me. It's that you I just do don't with really the genre. care. Yeah, there's only so much you can do with the genre until it just. But that's that's the same thing with everything. But, but back when, but back when we started, rap was the top yeah, dog. and it was there was, was great rappers, crap, there was great music coming out. Yeah, but it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. But it's just gone dead. But that's the thing with everything. You do something for a certain amount of time, it gets old, like, and then you fuse it into something else, and it's just gonna. It's a like, constant fusion when you, when of different things. Written a thousand songs, or made a thousand trap beats. It's just dead. Yeah, like there's only. It's so... no more enjoyment involved. And the thing is, when I when I rap nowadays, like back in the day, I used to make like fun braggadocio songs, you know. Yeah. But like now, even when I do it, I'm like, unless this thing is like a magnum opus, and I'm putting my all into it, and it's real and genuine, I'm not putting it out. And then I know if I do put that out, it's sinking to the bottom of our Spotify. Yeah. So, what's the point? Mm. And then you can be like. I will like do it for yourself and do it for the fucking real rap fans. No, it's not like that, bro. It's a game. Mm. It's a game. There's business to it. It's yeah. smart. Yeah. Like we're like we are making music because we enjoy it, but at the same time, we're not. That's not the only reason we're doing it. Mm. You know. Yeah. Like when when Lost and Everything, like when that concept came out, I was like, when I when I had written that, I found a beat. I was like, this just has to be this way. And like, yeah, just it doesn't need to be tweaked. For, for me, like, when I'm making something, if I'm making anything, mm. it just, it has to be, it has to be, like, different and it has to be fun. Yeah. Different to me. Mm. Not even different as in, oh, I've never heard this before. It just no, has to be different. Just... It has to be different to me because that's the only way Rap's not that a challenge I find anymore. it fun. Yeah. Trap drums, they're so fucking easy to do. You're at the stage now where you can just drag and drop. You've exactly. done it so many times that you can make a trap beat in trap like five beat minutes. in two seconds flat. Yeah. It's piss easy. Grab a sample, add a few chords. Anybody add can make drums, a fucking trap. It's done. It's done. Eight oh eight. I like it's. I have to have something that kind of challenges me. Mm. And trap drums and rap beats just don't really like. Yes, yeah, some do. They're, they're not doing it for it you. It has anymore. to be slightly different. Yeah, but, but if if it does it for you, it's something we haven't ever heard. It's not a trap beat. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Like anything you send me now, it's like fucking 
surreal or like jarring or different yeah. yeah it has to be like that at the minute and that's the only way i'll find it fun and that's the and that's the only way you keep doing it it would and also i'll confirm that bias is when lost in everything dropped and it was like our best release ever mm. that that did more numbers than can't wait did first week yeah which is insane to me because like that was crazy yeah. can't, can't wait was like spectacle it's like oh they're they're rapping yeah let's see this train wreck obviously that's gonna get views same way when i dropped the first podcast on my channel blows up because people are like oh what the fuck is this yeah spectacle's gone yeah you know like red light and fallen are two of our best songs ever like they just they do they done numbers but they didn't do like walls or strawberry lemonade numbers yeah because rap is just on the decline we dropped something brand new something kind of trendy Different something style, different. we've never done it before. Something a bit more up tempo and like fun. Fun, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to have fun with it, really. Like, That's all it is. Like 2020 freestyle, like sitting at the bottom of our Spotify for a reason. Yeah. You can literally hear. It's just bars. Yeah, but you can hear the, the formula. Well, I can, can you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, you know, music is you're just, just a trying formula. to be an impressive rapper. Like, yeah. that's the whole that's the whole thing. And even though, yeah, there's bars, they have substance and standard to our life. Like, they don't mean shit at the we same time. We could sit time. down, we could make a fucking yeah. fast tempo beat that's and the rap over it at 90 miles an hour. I could, I could make a song like Humble Baggers in the hour now yeah. <laughs> with you and, and have it uploaded yeah. now. Genuinely, yeah. but it's not fun. It was fun when we were learning. Yeah. And now we've learned. Yeah. And now, like, obviously, I'll never quit rapping because I love it. And it's my preferred no, way you're to, really good to at deliver. It. But you can do it in different ways that make yeah, have different exactly. beats and different types of music and you can make it better. I don't think I've shown you, so, like, rap in the past year that has been, like... I feel like every time I show you something, you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I get that. It's cool. I get why yeah. you did that. Yeah, or it's not just a stupid it. fucking... Oh, I'm the best ever, fucking whatever. Oh like, uh, yeah, let's talk about shit we don't do. <laughs> yeah, like I just don't care about. I never, yeah. I never cared about that at all. Yeah, do you know what I mean. But when mm. you say some shit that's like, fucking like, thought provoking, smart, honest, thought -provoking, genuine, yeah. then I'm like, oh fuck yeah, mm. that's cool. And that belongs on a song. That belongs on a song. It's you have to have music that will like touch somebody in a certain way, make them feel a type of way. That's what I want. My, Whether that's a depressing my, ass song. My philosophy with music has always been, I like making what I want to hear. And I like, but for me, it's like I, I I like making what makes me feel a type of way. Mm. If I don't feel a type of way in a certain song or a certain beat that I'm making, I just scrap it instantly. If I don't go, oh yeah, I really like this, or I feel yeah, like yeah, I, yeah. I could I could see myself doing going a certain direction with a song, mm. and it makes me feel a type of way, then I know that it make a certain other person feel a type of way. Yeah, that's when you know it's good. Like, cause I, I remember like, even while writing it, like Lost and everything, I remember writing that like hook and that chorus for the first time and being like, I just knew. And I hadn't had that feeling in mm. so long. When you get that feeling. Yeah, like that just, oh, this is it. Yeah. And you have to do it. Yeah. And There's then no like, and then, then when you're like recording and you're like, it's fun. Yeah. Because you already know. You want, yeah. do you want to see that product? You that want to make it. Of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas like when I was making shit like 2020 freestyle, I didn't like necessarily didn't feel that want to. It, you, you, didn't, you didn't have that spark it's of like, this is it. It yeah, was just like, oh, this, have that this sounds cool. It didn't have that two boys sitting in the fucking play school, like slaving away, learning something, yeah. energy. Yeah. And lost it in everything was the first time in a, in a while where I got that energy. Big time. Because sometimes it just felt like a chore. Even though we don't drop a lot, sometimes like dropping yeah. shit did just feel like yeah. we're dropping this because, oh, it's a banger. Or, oh, we rap good on it. Or it was, there was a gimmick to it yeah. this time. It has to be fun. Yeah. Or else what's the fucking point? Exactly. Yeah. And that's why I like doing these. Like, we recorded so many of these and not put them out. It's it's, just, it's just fun. It's enjoyable to just sit down and chat. Yeah. Like, it's something that I enjoy to do, like doing. Why the fuck not do it? It's just fun to, like, say shit that you shouldn't say on the internet sometimes. Yeah. Especially nowadays. That's one thing. Like... If this goes anywhere and like fucking skyrockets, I don't ever want to switch up. I don't think we'd ever switch up though. 
you no, know, I, I think the two of us have too much integrity for that. But then that's easy to say now to broke boys. When someone's offering us twenty grand and they're like, you can't say this. <laughs> Don't you know, say this. You know, you're on our production team it's, now. It's hard, isn't it? You can't it? say it's that. Hard. Yeah. I uh, will. We'll deal with that hurdle when we get to it. <laughs> <laughs> Still, probably say the Jews are fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> cancelled immediately. Do you think you'll ever get cancelled? If you get to like, I don't know. next level. No, I don't think so. No. I think I know like what I am as a person. I've got good morals. I'm a nice person. You know? I think being cancelled isn't real. Yeah, you're only cancelled if you allow yourself literally. to be cancelled, really. Yeah. James Charles literally like touches kids. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still knocking about? <laughs> Is he? He's still going, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine, oh my god. That shit was so <laughs> funny back then. 14 year olds Willie. James Charles oh. is literally a pedophile. Oh, that's funny. There's certain shit that people have gotten away with, and you're just like, Shane Dawson like, came how, on his cat. How the fuck are you getting away with this shit? He fucked and came on his cat. I did not fuck or come on my cat, okay? Can't say that. That Trisha one. Pace is the funniest. That fucking meatball just shits on her floor and cries. She shits on her floor? Shits! I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> shits! She shits on her floor and cries about it. She, I remember she's on the cum challenge. Wow. <laughs> Did you ever see that video? Oh. Trisha Pace just like put 100 layers of cum on her face. Seriously? It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Yeah. I don't know if it's real The cum, only The only reason that I know face. about her is because of that podcast with Ethan. Oh, frenemies. And then they broke up, didn't they? Yeah, because... Oh, he's a fat piece of shit. I hate that fucking yeah, yeah. dickhead. Go to the gym. <laughs> I really want Soft Keemstar fun. to box him. I really want someone to box the face off Keemstar. Yeah, Keemstar is a fucking prick as he's well. He's a pansy. He was like saying shit like, I can't believe people are disrespecting the queen. He didn't drop egg at the suicide. Show up, you little fuck. fucking gar garden on piece of shit. He's a spastic. Yeah. Killer Keemstar. Let's get real. I'd love, it's I'd love for him to to have a fight with somebody and they just absolutely batter him. First, I want to see Keemstar uh, be eating Klein because I just don't like him, and I want Keemstar's house to be built up. Wait, are they actually is that a thing? Is Keemstar has wanted to box him for years because he knows he'd win. Yeah, he would win, obviously. Yeah, but he, he, a fat Ethan won't do it. Of course he won't. He's like, I'm not gonna fight you. Yeah, because he's a fat cunt. Did you ever see last five, five seconds. Seconds. women are meant to be conquered? He did say that, did he? Yeah. And then he talks about Andrew Tate going... No, no, this is... Ethan Klein used to drop M-bombs and f slurs like, all the time. Different times. And then you fucking change up. You switched up on us. Switched up. And I'm not even mad that he switched up. I, I'm just mad that... I, I feel like he's a pretend version of who he used to be. And he says so much baseless shit that just comes out of his mouth for no fucking reason. And every time he gets any backlash for it, he's just like, nah, nah, I'm fucking eating fine. <laughs> Look, he's gonna, a cabbage, bro. I'll show you the clip where he says women are meant to be cabbage. Man's a straight cabbage. There's Joji's in the background. It's the fucking funniest thing ever. Our apes or whatever, right? Our, our ne Neanderthal cousins were probably just raping like crazy. So there's definitely something, like, in us to, like, conquer men want to, like, conquer. Right. So it's, you know, women are in a nature setting, like, to be conquered. <laughs> <laughs> that face he made, he was just like, oh no, you didn't just say that, did you? you Perfect fucking... example of how ca cancel culture isn't real. Yeah. Joji. Oh, yeah. Filthy Frank, bro. Yeah. Fucking scumbag dropping every, the every worst, bomb. most degenerate content ever. Yeah. I remember when the fucking, uh, the soy boy SJWs found out that Joji was Filthy Frank and he tried to cancel him. Everyone was like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up, we don't care. He made the best transition of all time. <laughs> we do not Even care. Even better than, like, Caitlyn Jenner when she fucking kills someone. That became yeah, she was like, let me just cover this one up real quick. Ow, ow, ow. I got one right here. Caitlyn Jenner. She got a fucking weird eye. Caitlyn Jenner was a woman for, like, six months and got woman of the year. Imagine, like, how... <laughs> All the women who achieved such great things that yeah. year, and he just chopped his dick off. And, and he was just like, I'm a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a woman now. I'm a woman now, guys. Look at me. Don't call me. Don't. Don't call me. What's his fucking name? Bruce. Don't call me Bruce. What, how do you feel about dead naming? I'm a woman. Bro, like. <sighs> the thing with that shit is, right? I'll call you whatever you want to be called. Yeah. I don't care about. Mm. The person that I don't Gender is fucking... Whatever you want to be called, I'll call you it. Yeah. But... 
Be very you careful were, you what were, you say. You were, Be very careful you, what you say. I'm very, say I'm very careful. For everybody I'm here. very careful. We can cut it out if needs be. Okay. I feel like this if is somebody cool. dead names you. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Fuck it. I don't care. You you were Bruce longer than you were Caitlin. It's like it's like my friend is a perfect example of that. Uh, this person was a man, then was a gay man, is man, then was non-binary, and I don't know if there's any more to that or whatever. They prefer to go by she/her pronouns. I've known this person my whole life as a man and obviously muscle memory and like fucking just basic shit. It's like, yeah, oh, past. is this person having this? I'd be like, yeah, he's having it. That person doesn't flip out, doesn't go crazy. It's like, oh yeah, no, I fucking get that. It makes sense why you would do that. It's not in a place of harm or to hurt me. It's just because that's what you're fucking used to. I'm sure if they changed their name, they'd have the exact same fucking problem. If I, if, inch, if like, you know me as, as if it. you know me as Alex, you're like for I'm the last Jerome 22 now. years, and I go, my name's actually Stefan. I am transracial. My name you're not just gonna go. Sunday. You're not just gonna swap every the last fucking ten years that you know me as like, oh, he's he's Alex, to then going, oh, he's Stefan. You're gonna just go Alex, and then you're gonna, oh, okay, sorry, dude. Yeah. Whatever. But like. Just fucking get over it, like. What's next, though? What's next? Do you think people are gonna start like <sighs> fucking robots, and then that's gonna be weird, and then you're gonna be like you're robophobic? What some um, cyberpunk shit? But no, or what's, what's what, that thing what's, called Blade what's, Runner? What's next to be like, like the thing, like because pedophiles, they're never getting it. You think so? There's no way, bro. There's no fucking way. I I remember hearing something about that, like. Oh yeah, like, pops up oh, from like, time it's like, it. oh, do you know, like, oh, you're gay. Yeah. Oh, what, why are you fucking gay for, man? Yeah. That's fucking weird. That's wrong. Then the zeitgeist changed. And then they're like, oh, like, you can't help that. That makes sense. Okay, whatever. Okay, you can't help that you're gay. Yeah, you're but gay. you can't. Oh, I can't help a, that yeah, I like can't children. Fuck a kid. Huh? You can't fuck a kid, though. Of course you can. Ladies and gentlemen. So we got him. Is it morally yeah. correct? Is it morally yeah. correct? Yeah, I'm not involved in the conversation. Is it morally correct? It's pretty based. <laughs> it's Chad. It's Sigma. It's Chad. It's Sigma. It's not morally correct for a grown adult with a full penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. To be fucking good. Like if you if you're thinking about it, if you're deep in it, right? Why is it that it's not okay for a grown adult to have sex with a growing person a person who hasn't fully grown yet what is the what is the reason think about it i feel like i don't have to think about it no but why is oh, it that okay, you don't have okay. to think about it you get a baby you get it all right i'm just gonna fuck this six month old See, what are we talking see, about? See, what are we talking about? That's what I was saying. That's why, what we're... why are you trying to justify it? No, I'm not trying to justify it. I think he's it... a nuts. No, I'm not saying he's like. Look at him with his nuts. I seen, I seen, I seen somewhere. I see pictures of kids naked. You're weird. <laughs> You're weird. I'm going to kill you, my thorn. You silly slime. <laughs> it's like, it's like, oh, I seen like, oh, they can't help it. They're, uh, they should be fucking whatever. No, oh, not a lot of people are saying it. Yeah, I can tell no, you that much. It, it's crazy. It's crazy that like, that's just how that person could be born, and you got yeah. the shit end of the just fucking pool. just fucking keep it to yourself. Just don't do it. But that's like saying, keep oh, yourself. you like you like dudes. Fuck kids in private. It's like you keep like dudes. Yourself. Oh, just yeah, just keep that to yourself though. Oh, you want to become a woman? Oh yeah, just keep that to yourself though. I guess that's why you're saying. What's the next thing? What is the next thing? There's nothing else to do. But everyone's always looking for the next thing. I think it's robots. But robots aren't there yet. Because it's not going to be dogs. Robots aren't there yet. I don't yet. think anyone's going to agree that you can fuck a dog. <laughs> no, if it is, I'm actually killing myself. <laughs> we, no, like, but there's always going to be a next thing because that's the way humans work. No, but I feel like the way society is working, yeah, we've hit the pinnacle of like shit being good. What's good? As in, that, that, that's what I mean. We've hit the pinnacle. We're on the we're on the down. We are on the fucking. Twenty nineteen New Year's was the, the the we hit the I top think, of I humanity. I think I think society and humanity as we know it is going to crumble. Fucking crumble that's where I'm at, bro. into the ground. The, like, New Year's Eve twenty nineteen was the pinnacle. What was that? 
Why was it so pinnacle in 2019? As in, what, as COVID in, happened? No, no, no. Before COVID happened? No, as in, that, that was, was the COVID. last of the good times. That was it. We hit Possibly. the pinnacle. We Possibly. hit the peak. Because, do you know why everyone talks about the stupid shit that we've just been regurgitating this whole time? Because everyone was locked inside, stuck on a phone, and they feel like their opinions matter. That's why we have the conversations we have. That's why everything seems so much worse than it is. Because everyone has something to say now. Remember when the fucking retards just didn't say shit? True. Because they were fucking... No one and cared. And it should have stayed that way. Yes! But it isn't. Unfortunately. And when I re say retard, I'd like to clarify. I'm not talking about mentally handicapped people. The fucking retards. <laughs> hey! Hey, Paul, you fucking retard. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> retard? You can't even say that anymore. Can you not? No, I, I've never called a retarded person a retard. I've only ever called, like, smart people retards when they do something stupid. Yeah. The rocket's on return. It's not your fucking like retard, 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 retard. Weedy boy. Haha, <laughs> Weedy Gonzalez. No, like, the thing is with that, right? I feel like, I don't know if it's just our generation and, like, even just, like, our country and the culture in our, in our country is, like, the words we use when we were growing up, they weren't... <laughs> They weren't used in the same way that they're meant now. Dude, I don't know where that's been, dude. I know where it's been. Yeah? Yeah. You happy about that? High five. That's not a high five, bro. That's a high Italian. Hey. hey. That's going to be racist now. I'm like fucking... Hey, you can't say that. Can you be... If we're white, can we be racist to all denominations of white people? No. Why? Did you see... I seen a video, right? Where a dude dressed up... In a mat, like a big fucking uh, Mexican, you know, those big Mexican hats, and then the, the Mexican robes. Yeah, a sombrero and a, a sombrero poncho. and a poncho, and fucking yeah. all the, the beads and all this shit. And he went up to a lot of white people and he goes, Is this cultural appropriation? Is They're this like, okay? No. They go, That's not okay. You're, you're appropriating a culture. And then he went into the Mexican people, all the Mexican communities, and he goes, Is this cultural appropriation? He goes, They go, No, I love your, I love your outfit. They're like, This is great. Okay. No. It's because the white people are like, oh, you can't do that. When, when Mario Odyssey came out on Nintendo Switch, yeah. That was the first Mario game, I swear this is going somewhere, where you could switch costumes. He had a sombrero costume and a poncho, and people were saying Mario's racist. Mario is racist. He's literally... He's not real! He's a fucking <laughs> cartoon drawing. He's not real! He's not a real person. He's a fucking polygon! Also, do you know what the thing... Everyone wants to just give out about something, though. Everyone wants to just... Have Every, an opinion it's, it's on something. It's virtue signaling. It's like when people go, Oh, spread awareness about Ukraine. I know what's happening. I don't really care. <laughs> I don't. It doesn't affect me. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't. It doesn't affect... Why, it affects why, our, our, why does me uh, caring... Economy. What does me, and ca me caring do? It's not... No, we can't do... Unless no, no, that's what I'm asking. Unless you're no, going no, over no, to Ukraine and asking. fighting a war. What does me caring nothing, do? Nothing, nothing. What does me posting a fucking infographic with pink sparkles on it about Ukraine do? Nothing. No. It makes people think that I'm fucking woke and I care. It think you care about it. It makes people think that it's you're So I can add to my fucking good, video games characters person. stats on Instagram. Every time something happens, some big movement, some event happens, yeah? That involves woke culture or something like that. And I post about it. I've always given my opinion given facts and had a base solid not argument but something to say about it i've never posted an infographic i've never just reshared a post you, you know what i mean when i have yeah, those and there's you have a big paragraph it's always like valid your, your and it's only shit i actually that's your opinion give a fuck if you want to give your opinion give your opinion no problem but if you're just going to post something so that somebody knows you're worthless you're, you're pointless you're a piece of shit i don't fucking i don't fuck with you you're fake it's stupid you're fake you're fake People are like, you don't care about Ukraine? Fake no, news. I don't. But your parents are the ones protesting that Ukrainians are getting fucking houses, you mm. pieces of shit. Yeah. You're not doing anything. Yes. You aren't doing anything. So why is, is me not caring? Do you know something that what is, is that doing matter? something? For an example, my mom went, she's got a, uh, she knows a, Ukraine, a Ukrainian mother and they all got massive trucks and they sent them over to Ukraine, filled them with stuff, Sick. filled them with food, filled them with generators Supplies. she was fucking getting uh like massive generators off companies sponsoring them and putting them on a massive truck Huge. and sending them over to ukraine Huge, massive that's doing something about it yeah 
posting some oh, shitty Sa- fucking Sandra things saying, on your Instagram and thinking Pray for Ukraine. Praying. Put the Ukraine flag in my fucking bio. Praying for them. How many people? What still the have, fuck are you gonna how do? How many people still have the black square? Up? I don't know. Bro. How many people still have imagine the black you square? Imagine you posted. Imagine you posted now though, right? Uh, like, if you so let's say you posted that at the time yeah. when everyone did. Sheep. Guilty. You posted that. Imagine you continuously posted uh, facts about black communities and uh, violence against black people mm. and all that shit. And, and, you, and you continuously black face. and you continuously posted people that until now. You. People go, "What the fuck's he posting?" People that shit? will follow you. Why is he still posting that shit? Yeah, it's, it's not like, relevant. It's like. Because it's still happening. Yeah. It's still going on. I don't know. Nothing has changed and since you're... George Floyd. Exactly. Nothing has changed. Nothing's actually changed. People know about it, but nothing's going to really... Nothing's really happened about it. Sorry, it, it just fucked up my it's, layout. It's just, I had to delete square. It's just... It's just a trend thing. Yes. If you were to continuously post about it, you'd lose followers. That's my issue. Exactly. That's why I hate these people. That's why I don't follow them all. Because mm. they're brainless. The brains don't have fucking lumps and prefrontal cortex. Texas, they're smooth little balls. Yeah. We're gonna turn into aliens, man. <sighs> That's nice. That's alien sexual. Everyone's gonna be like, "You're weird for fucking a tentacle, <laughs> man." I'd be like, "No, let me." I was also. Uh, <laughs> this is the same podcast. Yeah. I'm getting all my information from one podcast. That's how fucking uh, much of a guys. A I don't know person. if you know it. Pretty small podcast that I've been watching. It's called Joe Rogan. It's called Joe Rogan. He's got some. He's got some cool people on. But he was talking about. Now this guy's a tit. Like if you autistic. He, no, no, no. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I thought you guys like this guy's a tit. This guy is retarded. <laughs> no, like if you were to watch it, you'd be like, okay, this guy is a tinfoil hat motherfucker. However, he does say some good points, right? And he was talking about this whole like new world order thing yeah. and like Illuminati controlling too. controlling the populations, right? So it's so the main thing is fear mongering, right? It happens every day. So like the nine eleven thing, then the coronavirus thing. And they've just gained, they've gained uh, control through these things. True fear, yeah. True fear to get everybody on the same page and to be compliant to the government and to, to this. This is what he calls like the new world order. But right? this, that, that's not conspiracy. I know. If you, if this, you have half a but brain, but this is a bit of a, like he goes like, I know who the people are. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, this is where it gets a bit. It gets a bit like he goes, I know who the demons are. That's who. That's what he said. I know who the demons are, and I know what they're trying to do. Okay. And he goes, uh, so a cool thing was when the Nazis were going on, they were the ultimate control of their population through the government. Shit, I'm gonna shit in your bath. I'm about to shit in your bath with my dick. With my dick. <laughs> Open Gundam Star. Oh, he needs some milk. Hey guys, what's this? I'm gonna make Alex appear. Hocus pocus. Whoa, <laughs> bro, that trick's pretty sick. But Loki, you have testicle cancer now. <laughs> <laughs> he got testicular yeah, cancer. That's that's the perks of doing the trick. So this he was talking about really the control of governments and um, fear mongering to control populations. Sorry, dude. Through the government, right? We do it together? We cross swords? Dude. Watch, watch, wait, wait, wait. How do you... You have oh, to... I'm trying you, to... Yeah. I like this. Yeah, like this. That was sick. That wasn't gay at all. Fake niche. No, fuck eating coin. See, that, that... He used to make shit like that. What? A vape? He, he is vape nation. Mm-hmm. That's it. He made that. Mm-hmm. That was a cultural movement. He made so many memes. Well, so, fuck him anyway. Sorry, sorry. Fun fact. You know the breath sound effect? Yeah. That's Mike's mofo. Is it? Bro. Yeah. That's him. That's cool. Anyway. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I've been learning how to burp recently. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Joe Rogan shit right there. And he go, huh? Yep, burp. Burping? Did you know that burp sounds come from your butthole? <laughs> Can you burp out your ass? <laughs> no. I was gonna shit myself. Yeah, no, <laughs> Did, no. Am I going any further? Okay, this is actually a cool point yeah. though. Okay. So, fear mongering through um, the government using fear mongering to control populations. So, going around after the war, mm-hmm. so the Nazis, they, they, they captured a load of Nazis 
and they obviously put them into interrogation and they were kind of like obviously they were kind of curious as to how they managed to control this whole population and brainwash them Hitler into thinking fucking, certain was, things. Was banging at something. He was like, banging he, at he was it. Good at that. He was yeah. banging at it. Some some public speaker as well. Oh, bro. He also was a crazy fucking heroin addict. Yeah. Did you know that? Um, meth addict. Crazy meth. Sorry, meth. He was what, a crazy what, what, meth. What addict. I would say about that is, is that true or mm. is that just like? No, that's fact. That's factual. And there was videos of him Are like tweaking meth? at like some fucking. Okay, guys, welcome to my vlog. <laughs> Today I'm going to do fucking meth and kill loads of Jews. Gonna fucking kill him all. Gonna fucking kill him all. He was a crazy bastard. But um, so obviously they captured a lot of Nazis. They interrogated yeah. them. They're like, how did they gain a lot of uh, a lot of control over their population? How did they get um, everyone on board? And they were like, oh, like you aren't scaring your population with UFOs. They had a huge thing where they scared their population about you extraterrestrials and the government. You fucking Jews have aliens on speed dial. <laughs> They got them on FaceTime, he's FaceTiming the fucking aliens! They're FaceTiming the fucking aliens! <laughs> you need to kill them all! He's FaceTiming the Gotta kill them all! <laughs> so, so they were like, whoa, you didn't do that. And when, straight after the war, that's when Star Trek, that's when, like, that's E.T. When, that's when that's the Americans faked the moon that's landing. That's when the Americans faked the moon landing in space, bro. bro, bro. What's out there? <laughs> went to the moon once and then they were like, yeah, we're never doing that again. Yeah, that yeah. Really happened. They're actually doing it right now, I think. No, but they're not telling people. No, they are. No, they're making they a base they, up there. They sent the ship though, and like wow, people. I think they sent they sent a ship with like supplies, and then they're gonna go up, and then they're gonna make a base. No, like, whatever, whatever about that. Fake, whatever anyway. about that. But they, this guy thinks Eddie Bravo. He thinks that the next thing, mm -hmm. and this is when uh, recently all the fucking uh, Pentagon files real. they've been released. Eddie's yeah, so there, so there's a, real. so there's things out there that we don't really know what they are. Yeah. They've said this. Mm -hmm. They go, yes, we've had certain situations where pilots are. Our, our, our Air Force so have gone, oh, what the fuck is, is he, this? Is he gonna, like, is he gonna say that they have set all these up and then that now they're gonna use, oh, aliens are real to be the new... That's the next yeah. thing, because you want to have something that the population can't Yeah, it's like, fix. it's like God. It's like... You're, you, the government are God. Yeah, you have to, you have oh, to have Oh, there's this crazy virus that... Uh, is coming along, it's gonna kill a lot of people. So now you gotta listen Let's, to us. Let, listen to us, we're gonna help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now they're gonna go, okay, so there's these things flying around. People can't fucking shoot shit out of the sky and people can't look and monitor the, the sky. Screen. They're not gonna be able to do that, so they're gonna go, okay, so there's extraterrestrials, we need to save, the, you need to be, I, know, you I need never to even be, thought about that. And that's the next thing. At the same time, I do believe aliens are real. I don't think, I don't know. I don't think so. Because if aliens aren't real, my only other theory is, and if you had said this to me about two years ago, I would have told you, go fuck yourself. But I, I am strongly considering being like, we actually are in a simulation. <laughs> it sounds crazy, but yeah. the more you do I mean, it, like... Bro, did you, ever, did you ever notice how stars just like always look the same? But it's like... You can never reach them, so you can never like confirm or deny whether that's like a, a skybox. I feel no, no. I think whatever about a simulation, okay. and there's a good argument to it. I do believe that, but like <laughs> that's a tough one, man. I can just see it. I, like that's I don't believe one. we live in a. We simulation. have telescopes. We can see shit. Yeah. We there's stuff out there. I'm not fuck. I think I don't think well, the, my the thing moon is, is a fucking. Let's screen. say you're a game developer, yeah. And like you're playing, you're making GTA and you make a shop, yeah? All you have to do is make the external of that shop because you know a player is never going to go into it. I get that. You know what I mean? So I you never that. have to actually program the stuff. I know, but you could say that about anything. You could say that about fucking literally anything that you've never seen before. Oh yeah, of course. So that that's the argument to that. What you're only, you only know what to be reality of that what you've seen or what's yeah. in front of Did you. Did you real? Hmm? Tell me real right now. Stop fucking with me. Get out of my head, man! Get out of my head! He's in my head! It's right there! He's in my head! Right there! Get in it. your head! In your head! Zombie! Zombie! You know they're Irish. Yeah, she's dead as fuck as well. The cranberries. She died. Yeah. Oh, I do. She did. That's how they made zombies. Yeah. Now it's about the rising. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Anyways, our bloody Sunday. What are we doing? Well, they have a song about that. Yeah. Either, either way. But like, video. that's that's the that's his whole thing. Is like they have to have a reason 
to make the population feel helpless in a situation where they only have the government to look to and have no other option. Yeah. An option would be there's fucking aliens coming down from outer space and they're a threat to us. We don't know what they are. You need to listen to us. You need to stay inside. You need to listen to what we do. We need to monitor everything. We need to know who's who, where you're going, where you are. Exactly. That's the next thing that he thinks, scaremongering wise. And that's something that they took from the Nazis because the Nazis also did that where they actually, the Nazis actually made flying saucers. They actually. Look at this! They you made, fucking Jews! He's having a pocket in his alien car! <laughs> you gotta made, kill them all! They're they made flying saucers to scare the public, bro. <laughs> that's, that's plays, that's bro. Gas. That's plays. Healer bag chaser. That's the next shit, though. Healer bag chaser, look at this. And, and it's only recently where the. Where the fucking pentagon were like oh yeah so like we have seen some things there was a so there was a the main the big story there was, was a, they were out CIA flying files or something. the files from the pen yeah cia files yeah, from the pentagon was, or whatever yeah. and they didn't release them until recently but um there was a thing where uh air, the air force were out doing a run and on their radars they, oh, yeah, they detected the video, they I've detected the something that was at a certain the there was at a certain um altitude and it, it went was from that altitude that it was impossible to, yeah right at sea level yeah. like that impossible you can't do Doing it. movements that we could never do in a, a plane a human could yeah. never do it yeah and they were like yeah so this is and this is a fact i've seen the video there is I a thing where it went from it. here to here in a split second and we don't know what it is the fucking it us it was me on blender Air Force. You on Blender? Yeah. With your little 3D models. It was me. It was me. I'm for the Photoshop there. I made it. Now you're going to believe me. Stay but like, but like, oh, close that door as well while you're up, daddy. Close the fucking door. I don't want my neighbors thinking I believe in aliens. Oh. And it's all a thing of what's next, bro. What's next to be trending? Oh, the aliens are trending. The aliens are coming. The world goes to aliens shit. Aliens are coming on me. The, world, the aliens. They're splooshing they're splo- their green goo all over me. Why are aliens... I'm trapped. I, I know immediately what they're going to do. They're going to be like, the aliens want to kill us all. But why are aliens scary on their own? I think it's cool. What man. are aliens? Man, imagine you see What are they? Cool we don't know what they man. are. A grey man. A cool little grey man with the big black beady eyes, bro. I would have a drink with him. I'd take him for coffee. I'd fucking chill with him. Teach him how to do a kickflip. I don't know how to do a kickflip. I'll teach him how to do it. <laughs> I'd love a I'll little grey alien. But he's gonna go, you fucking stupid human. Well, he's just like, yeah! <laughs> That's the thing, like, it's what the alien. fuck? Like, we only know of an alien because of the movies that they've shown mm-hmm. us. That's all we know of aliens. Because there isn't any aliens that we know of. Yeah. Because so, like, what's next? They're just gonna be like, dogs can actually speak IRL. <laughs> <laughs> they've just been hiding from us. Everyone stay kill inside. Your kill, kill your dogs. Kill your dogs. Kill your dogs. Stay inside. They're kill your dogs. They're plotting against us. <laughs> kill your dogs. Do you ever notice why, why does dog's dick not look like my dick, but his tongue looks like my tongue? Kill your dog. It's an alien tongue. <laughs> the dogs are the aliens. The dogs got an alien penis. The dogs are the aliens. Uh, it's funny though, because technically every animal and humans are aliens. How? Because like... Just be a being in space is an alien. We're extraterrestrial. Well, what, like to alien. Us. The word alien means something that you're not it's familiar like bizarre, with. Yeah. It's something that you're not familiar yeah, yeah. with. That's alien to me. Yeah. You know, if you say something, a new word. That's, that's I go, queer to me. That's queer to me. <laughs> that be They're gonna be called that. queers. Call queers. <laughs> the queers are coming. <laughs> That's what's happening. You you woke movers. Oh, we you know said it here happen? first. We said it here first. Remember niche cast episode one. Niche cast episode one. Movement. The pilot episode. Niche cast. That's it. You're you're making this woke movement. Everyone's it's cool to be queer. What's they're gonna kill you? They're all. gonna fucking kill you all. The queers are coming. The oh. queers are coming. Lock it all. Hey, I'm look. I fucking warned you. Okay. I fucking warned you guys. What? I told you. The what? You're gonna coming. be fucking queer. Who be fucking queer? I warned you. I fucking I warned, warned you. you. I warned you to be a man. Only you now. You're, fucking d- you're in a fucking queer camp. <laughs> <laughs> Skip and run with all the queers. <laughs> oh. Playing hopscotch with queers. <laughs> what are you doing? Skipping. Skipping. Skipping with queers. <laughs> you're in a little queer camp. I'm going to kill you all. The aliens are going to come down what? and they're all going to speak like Andrew Tate. They're all going to speak like Andrew Tate. Imagine it wasn't aliens. What are you doing? You saw the aliens. It was just like millions of little Andrew Tate. And then, as soon as they're coming down here, Sony wanna send a Dina, Sony wanna send a Dina. And I'm going to go, what? 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 We're queers. 
Look at you all, oh. you're fucking queer. Oh. Get my concentration can you fucking queer. Get, oi, you gotta join Hustlers University, that's what they're all called. <laughs> Yeah, Hustlers University the, the right camps, now. The camps are called Hustlers University. Just sign up. You guys just sign up. Kill you. They just, oh my god. What, you got fucking blue hair? Get in here now. Got blue hair and you make TikToks about fucking pronouns. Get the fuck in my camp. Oh. Tristan, fucking help us out here. Tristan. This is Tristan's come down. So they want to share the And then you get your one. What's the, what's the girl one name? The girl Tate. You ever seen her? No. She's not like not funny at all, and she just like hates men. Not. Her name's like Drew something. She's on TikTok. Drew. Yeah. What name? I'll show you some of her videos later. We can talk about her next time. I actually don't want to platform her because it's annoying that she got <laughs> on our gigantic platform. All six people watching this. If you can bully on this one creator, <laughs> I don't like her. I don't like her one bit. <laughs> That's fucking guys load of tay aliens. That'd be funny. <laughs> I was gonna say something. Okay, they all come down and they're like, what? Where's the sparkling water supplies? <laughs> Where are they? What? You drink normal water? You're like drinking four regular people. water. What? Your fountains don't have sparkling water. What? Your what? springs. Your what? springs are fresh water. You're, you're telling me, you backwards motherfuckers, Niagara Falls does not have sparkling, sparkling. water. It's not carbonated. It's not carbonated enough. What? Your fucking planet. <laughs> Your planet's fucking gay. <laughs> your planet, <laughs> queers. Queers, a, queers on the planet. planet. We call this planet queer now. It's not, called, not, it's not called Earth anymore. It's called planet queer. Well, right now we got to talk about a fucking traitor. I kill you all. That's <laughs> me. Oh fuck! I'm a, a three-time world champion. Fuck all these other. Tanks. I'm a three-time. <laughs> I'm a three-time universe champion. I'm a fucking universe kickboxing champion. I'm a universal well, kickboxer. What color is your UFO, big guy? <laughs> What color I travel, you? I travel. Galaxies are galaxy. You might be Gatti. You look guys. You might be Gatti spaceship. Guys. What color is your Bugatti spaceship? The UFO comes down and just has the Bugatti logo. <laughs> it comes down and has that projector of just Bugatti on the floor before it comes down. Yeah. Fucking like red mist flows out. What? We came here to reclaim Romania. That's the homeland. <laughs> That's the homeland. That's where we're from. Yeah. But my proud Britain man, or if he's the queen. Luton. 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 Or if I do queen. It's I also a great grew place. Luton is wife. a shithole. <laughs> My dad, Grandma, Grandmaster, Grandmaster Chess. He made all the Grandmaster, efforts. Universal Chess Champion. He created every single one of us. This is falling down. It's a fucking disaster. What's this? My dad had so much fucking sex with so many whores. They made so many, so many fucking t aliens. We took over the planet. Whoa, we took we, over the universe. We're so fucking smart that we just we went on each other's shoulders, went to the fucking next planet because we're like, we're not staying out here with all you queers. <laughs> we're like far well, better than you queers. Well, on my planet, if you don't wake up and do ten thousand push-ups a day, you're fucking gay. <laughs> In my fucking sleep, I just do push-ups. I do press-ups. I do, I do press-ups in my sleep. So and I wake up before I go to sleep. What? You thought Tristan was joking when he said he goes to bed at 6 six oh one and wakes up at 6? You thought he was messing. Joking. No. Do on you, our planet, we travel that fucking do, sleep time travel. I, do, I don't think you can comprehend how much time that we have in the day because we don't actually sleep. <laughs> we do press-ups all day long. We're so fucking good. We sleep for eight hours, okay? Eight, eight fucking hours. We time travel in our sleep and go back <laughs> <laughs> we go back before we went to sleep and we do work. We work, we grind, we go on hospital university. Wait, you're gonna deplatform me, I'll take your whole fucking planet, you little pussy. Deplatform me, you can't deplanet me. I've got a whole army. That's next I've got thing. a whole army. You're gonna deplanet me. That's what happens next, That's bro. the next thing. They put you in a little shoot, shoot they're gonna shoot you off. We're gonna deplanet you because you don't, you don't, um, comply. You're not complying. We're gonna send you off to planet queer. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> you can't deplanet me. I've got a planet. What? I've got my own fucking planet. That's why I made my own planet, okay? I got a planet. What are you gonna do? You can take my money, you can take my cars, you can take my bitches. You can't take my planet. You can't take my planet. What are you, you gonna I get to it? I own it. I own my planet. Well, I, fuck own it. Right I, own now. I have a straight with you. Did I not mention? I'm a galaxy world champion. <laughs> a galaxy world champion. Uh, I'm a galaxy champion. I'm a galaxy kickboxing world oh. champion. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Tate, oh, Tate was fucking gas. Yeah, he was gas. He'll stick around for a while. He's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. Also, I'd like to say his response video was the best ever response to anyone getting cancelled ever yeah. in existence. And in mo most cases, like the Logan Paul video ass, like the James Charles video ass, the Tati video, yeah. I, I hope she dies. Whoever whoever came up with that formula of Death. doing an apology video. <sighs> Guys. No, you have to... Hold on, wait. Adjust the camera, remember? Because he just turned it on. Guys, I've tried to make this video so many times. Hold on, wait, we have to make it look like we're softer. <laughs> Guys, I've tried to make this video so many times. Oh, thanks for, thanks for this little, um, <laughs> <laughs> 
It's like, it's like, brr, brr, brr. thanks for the donation. By the I'm way. sorry for making so I said a thing. Take gay jokes. I said a thing. And I'm not supposed to say the thing. I probably shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't have said the thing. Will I say the thing again? In my head? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'll be saying it. In Will my I head. say I want my friends and make fun of this situation forever? Most yes. Most definitely. Am I going to capitalize on this yeah. afterwards? Most definitely. 100%. Am I going to lose subs for one day in a game more than I ever lost? Most definitely. Yes. But I'm sorry that I said the N word to a black guy. I've changed. I've changed. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> See you next See week. You like next and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> it's YouTube, <laughs> baby. <laughs> it's fucking YouTube, baby. It's fucking it's YouTube, baby. It's fucking YouTube, baby. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of all your views, you stupid cunt. How big's your planet? <laughs> How big's your planet? <coughs> Event? Do you think eventually, right? Do you think? Okay. Do you think society will last long enough to where the human species becomes multi-planetary? Have you heard of oh, what the fuck's it, the Great Barrier? You know what that is? The Great Barrier Reef? No, the Great Barrier... <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef? Or? Is basically, <laughs> basically, uh, the idea in which... Just to clarify, if it's stopping and starting at random points, it's because my PC... Goes into... Goes into, like... Sleep mode. Sleep mode, yeah. What a fucking piece uh, of shit. I can turn it off. What I'd a probably fucking piece of shit. Yeah. He's a Mac user. We won't get into that. Uh, I think it's called the Great Barrier, or something like that. Uh... Where, basically, the idea is now, I think I could be mixing up two things, but they kind of relate. If there is extraterrestrial life out there, and they're more advanced than us, why haven't they contacted us? Mm -hmm. One. Yeah. Two, you could argue, oh, well, like, they come and observe the planet and make sure we don't fuck things up. And then the, the Great Barrier is the idea in which that there is, and... They see us and they look at Twitter and they go, these and they guys go, are stupid. Fuck this shit. Mm -hmm. I don't want to communicate. They, these can't even agree amongst each other. They're fucking wet brains. Look at these stupid apes. They're literally destroying their things. own planet. Yeah. They're watching us like a reality show, you know? Um, on the contrary, I think it's way, way, way scarier. The idea of sick ghosts, by the way. Um, that space is so big and expansive and we're the only ones. That's so terrible. Isn't it? That's way worse to me because then when we're done, there's nothing. That's it. Mm. However, yeah, this is just a thought that aliens mm. are Go us. Blah, blah, blah. Are, no, are us. So we've become multi-planetary. Mm -hmm. We've already done all that. Mm -hmm. And they're just gone, and they lo they left behind this this Remnants, history, yeah. and we don't. And it started from scratch from here, but they went off miles, mm -hmm. miles, light years, and then they are coming back, and they're going, oh shit, we've after, we're after leaving a few of them back behind, yeah, we fucked And they're after they're after starting their own little thing, and we're just gonna view these people. And there was a there was something that um, UFO sightings fucking skyrocket when there's war going on, and when there's nuclear threats going on. Mm -hmm. I'm mean, like they're coming Which back like and they're going in relation to planes being in the air, and they're coming back going. Are they gonna destroy? Maybe we should probably do something if they're gonna destroy the whole planet. Oh, I see. Mm. They're like maybe we should intervene. They're like, mm, they're like let's just let's Hitler, just show Hitler, up. He's a kooky little critter. We liked him in season one. Season two kind of went off the rails. We're gonna have to cancel him. We're gonna have to just put an end to that one. Yeah. And 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 they sh and the the amount of sightings of UFOs increases during that time, so yeah. that people are kind of like, oh, yeah. maybe we should just kind of chill out a little bit. But then you have people like Hillary Clinton. Who <laughs> but then you have people like Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Clinton, it may as well be. Mm. Who uh, spits a little green eggs in her drinks? <laughs> that video, <laughs> that video is wild. I think man. I've shown that to so many people. Green like, eggs and ham. Have you seen Hillary Clinton <laughs> spitting a little green egg? Bro, where she was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was clear water. She I know, no, no, it's, what a fucking idiot. Swallow it. She got it. She had to, the, she had to lay she it. She got it into the cup, bro. Lay up. Oh, he's always funny. Ever got stuck on her lip? Oh my god. Pokemon, go to the polls. Imagine they fucking dripped on her face, bro. Imagine it was just there the whole time. Oh my god. Did you see the video of Biden and he's like, someone's giving a speech and he's bro, which one? Away. Which one, bro? There's no, so many. Top, top three is you cannot do any push-ups, fat man. Huh? Pope, where he goes, you're the best uh, African American baseball player. 
No, no, he didn't say you're the best. He he started waffling about an African American baseball oh, he goes, player, he goes, and the Pope was just kind of like, "You're the famous African American baseball player." <laughs> and the Pope, the Pope's like, "Yes." <laughs> He's like, "Yes." He, no, but the best one is he hugs, he his, off the bike. He hugs his wife. That's a brilliant. When he hugs his wife like this, he goes, "Hi, I'm Joe Biden's husband." <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that one no. it's so good but no do you have, it's do, just a straight do up you not see the one where you pull it up pull it up you have we'll, to. we'll put them all up or he falls we'll, up the stairs we'll and then falls up the stairs no again. no even better even better than all of them someone's doing a speech yeah you stand there someone's getting a word or something and he just walks, he just walks away he just walks away. <laughs> he walks away and you can see the people he's got his people in the back who Sleepy look after girl. him and they and just kind of look at him like they're like no he's going he's lost focus again he's telling his head he's like what the fuck am I doing here this this person's taking too long. <laughs> he probably wakes up every day and he's like, I'm the president? <laughs> no, yeah, they have to, they wake him up every day Jersey, going, no, you're the president. Jersey 51st dates. 51st dates? 51st dates. 51st dates. No. Well, Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. I don't think so. So basically it's about this woman, yeah, who has amnesia and she can only like remember like this one day. So every day resets, but she just goes back to the Start previous day. day. No, the day that she was on, the day she had like a car accident, it was her mom's oh, birthday. Right. So she always goes back to that day in her head mm -hmm. and she has to like be exp explained everything every day. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> His life is just oh, that. Yeah, yeah. He wakes up and he just gets a little tape and it just tells him everything about what's happening. So basically you're the president. Uh, COVID happened. There's a fucking war. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> they have to tell him yeah. everything. And then they go, okay, so now you have to go do a press conference and you're going to have to say these numbers of what things are happening and how much money we're spending and how much how much things are being affected and what you're working on. And he's like, huh? <laughs> you're like, what? I, and then you hear him I wanna, stumble. I you hear him stumble. 500 billion, uh, uh, 3,400 like, like, million like, like, people are, are dead. And they're like, they're like, oh, he didn't just say that. Did he? You see the people in the background, oh, he fucked it. <laughs> he fucked it every time. The Americans elected him. He fucks it up the every Americans time. The Americans elected him. I know. But he's just a puppet. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bro, he can't fucking, he can't do anything. He can't, Bro, he can't get off a stationary bike. He, <laughs> he can't walk he up a set of steps with a rail next to him. <laughs> The man is fucking dead. He's, He's dead in the know. water, bro. You've done him like that. You've done him so dirty. Where they're like, ah, oh, yeah, we'll pick Joe. <laughs> Joe. Joe seems. They go. They all. They're all in a meeting, right? And they go, okay, so we are the actual people in charge here, yeah. okay? Who do we? They've got a line of. They've got a line of people up, and they go, no, who sorry, are we sorry, gonna sorry, pick sorry, to be sorry, our sorry. little puppet? I forgot. I forgot one video. Where he's like, I used to have the children on my lap when my legs were wet, and they rip my leg hair. They, they they push my leg hair up like this, and they just watch it fall back down. And you're like, and you're just like, he's saying this shit. Like, right Joe, that's what you're not like, supposed to say. Say, Joe, don't that, say Dan this Snyder's shit. Dan Snyder's just like, cut him off. Cut him, cut off. him off. Cut him off. No, but like, they're all in the room. They're going, okay, we're the real people in charge here. Who are we going to have as our puppet? And, they, and, someone, and someone goes, um, we're going to pick Joe. And Joe goes, eh? Joe goes, who the fuck is Joe? Joe? Who's I'm he? Joe Biden's husband. <laughs> <laughs> My husband? Uh, me? <laughs> Oh, well, well, okay then. My husband? What that, am I doing? That man. He's like, yeah. you're going to be president. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> I fully think that Trump might get back in next He will. Uh, he 100% time. will. Yeah. Because Bernie's never going to get it. Oh, Bernie's great though. And I hope Hillary never even gets a chance to run again. That violent. No, no, no. They, they won't run Crooked again. Hillary. Crooked Hillary. Crooked Hillary. I, I was in the McDonald's and I seen Crooked Hillary. And she took a shit in the bathroom and it was greasy. One of those where you have to wipe it five times and it still has stains. You flush it, it doesn't go down. Flush it. She clogged you the flush toilet. It again. Okay. I was in the White House. Okay, I was playing Fortnite. Crooked Hillary has aimbot. <laughs> she got aimbot on. She's a cheater. She was cranking 90s. Hey, she's a phony. She's a phony. Cheater. She's crooked. I've he never was, seen someone he cranking was, 90s. He was the best. He's funny. He was so funny. Bro, if you're... Well, to be fair... Joe's up there for funny, but not because of our pocket shit, just because no, he's, he's, no. he's old. Because I feel well, bad for the at, Americans. Laughing at Joe is not funny because it's like, this is a shit show. It's a shit Whereas show. Whereas when Trump's like, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to say this out of pocket yeah. thing and eat 20 cheeseburgers. You're like, ah, he's American. Yeah. He's fucking No, but he had, some, he had some good things. Like, their economy In Apple was King, up. John Hoon. Yeah. Do you know who else did that? No, only one. Dennis Rodman. He's the only person. Yeah, yeah. But Dennis Rodman is his bro. Like, yeah, De Dennis, Dennis Rodman, Rodman is so fucking cool. Kimmy, yeah. He goes over there. Strange. He's the only man who can absolutely dunk on Kimmy and it's okay. He's definitely like, oh, Dennis Rodman. He's so cool. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, Dennis. Dennis. So, shout out Atrocity Guide. Made a bang. In it's a YouTube channel. I love. Okay. Uh, did I show you the documentary on Satoshi, the fella who was... Uh, 
had to like live off uh, sweepstakes, fill out the forms. Remember, he got put into a room and he had to like fill out forms to get anything he needed. No. I don't ever show no, you that. No, no. It's great. We'll watch it after. Okay. But uh, she made a documentary on how basically Kim Jong Il kidnapped these two South Korean film directors, mm -hmm. both of them, and made them make movies for North Korea. Propaganda. No, like because he wanted a boom in film industry. Mm -hmm. Such an interesting documentary. Show it then. Anyways, let's go back to the racist stereotype accents. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's not as fun anymore. Ah. Did you did you do the personality test I put on my story? I didn't. Really? No. Ah, we'll do it next time. You can do it right, right now, man. No, because it's long. Is it long? Yeah, it's like Fair. 30, 40 questions. Job. Fair. I did an autism test. Like online? <laughs> yeah. I bet you it was like, yeah, you're autistic. <laughs> uh, uh, my, yeah, a little bit. I feel like I'm definitely neurodivergent. Do you not believe in neurodivergentism? No, I do. Yeah. I genuinely believe because there's shit that I get fixed. You're definitely different. <laughs> no, I get fixated on shit. Oh, I'm fucking autistic as fuck. <laughs> no! You can't say that one! Out of pocket. Out of pocket. <laughs> out of pocket cast. That's a banging name. Out of pocket cast? Yeah. Out of pocket. Out of I'm fucking boiling, bro. Yeah. Same. This hat is hot as fuck. You can take it off. My hair's time. already fucked, though. So yeah, like, that was mine. We're just running it. it. It's the out of pocket cast. Out of pocket cast. I never look good in hoods. I feel like I look like a fucking pedo. Like, imagine me just. Do like, not look good in hoods. Imagine me lurking outside your school. Just having a little. Pass off. <laughs> Anyways, you are a toss off. You're a toss -er, so. Uh, <laughs> You're we're talking about autism. You're so silly. I think I'm neurodivergent oh, 100% yeah. because I get fixated on stupid shit. Like when I was a kid, it used to be uh, like Sonic and Mario. Like to the point where I had a full wall of drawings. I like to, to make this point make any sense. But f up until the age of about five or six, yeah, I could not draw. That's probably baffling when you realize. Five or six? Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, people. They, they can't no, draw no, shit, but though. like, not even to the point where I would draw like people and they look shit. I just couldn't draw. If someone handed me a page, I would literally just do this on it a kid and draw there, scribbled. Though, no? But I remember these two kids moved to my school and he introduced me to Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, and I'd never been so infatuated with anything ever in my life like that. You know, mm -hmm. and I literally sat down with like a Smith catalog and there was like a little picture of a toy. And from drawing Sonic the Hedgehog, probably over a thousand times, I just learned how to draw. Mm. Like, th that is the level of fixation I yeah, can you were have just on things. Stuck onto that one thing. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like if I didn't move house into the scenario in which I moved, where I had more kids and more people, and I was like, had a shit home life, basically, mm -hmm. I'd be a complete, like, fucking artist, dribbler, like, fucking nerd. I would not be, I'd be a virgin. I'd probably stink. I'd probably be fat. <laughs> I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I wouldn't be funny. Like, yeah. loads of shit like that. Mm. Like, I feel like there's definitely certain things where I'm like, okay, I'm autistic about that. Mm. Like, you know, Blind Boy. Yeah. He's autistic. Yeah. I only found out, like, now. And, like, that completely benefited him in the fields that he went, he into. went into. But at school, he was in the slow class hmm. with the burnouts even though he wasn't actually slow yeah yeah he was just autistic yeah he was just different i know i'm not saying i'm autistic when i say that. that 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 feels bad i mean i feel like everyone to a degree you know the way sexuality is a spectrum gender is a spectrum i think autism is definitely a spectrum or or neurodivergency so like my take on that would be like everybody is different everybody is everybody's so, brain works different everybody's brain works different mm -hmm. everybody is different in their own special ways and like labeling something autism is just I a think way it's just a way to say oh this person learns things differently this person uh, cares about things differently yeah. This person reacts to certain things in different ways. Mm -hmm. This person 
is more suited towards certain things than other people mm. that's just that's just the label for that that's when you do a personality test you'll that will kind of blow your mind because it's like star signs but it's real yeah it's factual well well to, to a but degree. that's all that but for me that's all the autism is just your brain's wired different. it's just that person's brain is wired to, I'll, I'll, to work a certain way and better we're, than we're, other people. we're not talking about severe autism to the point where you're like not functioning in society yeah you know like where you're actually mentally handicapped yeah we're talking about it in a sense of like type of like asperger's or like dyspraxia those types yeah. of autism i feel like Dyslexia, i feel like autism is the umbrella well. term and then like all those just go off into no but it. dyslexia yeah that's probably dyspraxia. like dyspraxia see do you know what the thing is autism and the awareness around it now is only last 10 years yeah to the point like before it was just like you're retired you're in the loony bin hmm. or you're a cabbage and now it's like oh no you have like this yeah. or that or that and i feel like when you can explain those things to people it's like oh that's not scary it's like if you're depressed you were just a looper you're fucking, yeah yeah you were just oh you were the depresso like just go kill yourself like hmm. it was just yeah you're not I, worth you're not worth anything in the society and now it's like oh well no there's a reason for this hmm. this that and the other like these are the ways you can combat that. I don't know where we're going with these points. Autism. Next topic. Autism. Autism. Pretty epic. Pretty epic. I like it. Um. How's your love life, man? Oh, we going there? How's your love life? Do you wanna do you wanna swipe the mouse? Do, do, do you on. wanna do you wanna probe? A probe? <laughs> That's one of your probes, bro. Yeah. I don't what? want one of your... What? You don't want a fucking probe? <laughs> you don't want a probe? You've got no option, what? mate. You I'm think, coming you down. You think I'm not going to put my fucking probe up your arse? You think I'm not going to I'm coming do down from Planet Hustler and you're getting a probe. You understand? What do you think the G stands for? G spot. <laughs> Top fucking G spot. Give me your arse. Give me your butthole. <laughs> Give me your fucking arse. Give me your butthole. It's my, getting violated. My love life. Your love life. How's it going? I have like butterflies in my stomach right now no no as in like as in like i don't want to you don't want to talk about it oh like, you're so nervous oh he's about to get vulnerable on the podcast i hate this can we not just like it's good though can we not just be horrible to other no. people no anyways do you want to do you want to probe as in ask questions oh poke poke at you yeah okay oh, i feel weird okay. i feel weird <laughs> Uh, all right, go, go, okay, go, go, okay, go, okay, go. Okay, 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 so, how's your sex life, <laughs> how's your sex life, how's, how's your show game, uh, no, so, in the last year, okay, how many people have you had a, some, some sort of any relationship with? Hmm, interesting, uh, um, Last year, so August to August, September to September. Oh shit! Yeah, fuck. Um, I've had sex with three individuals in a year. Mm. Okay. And but also, last year was my self-anointed year of celibacy. <laughs> I only had sex with like one person in that okay. whole year, okay. which is kind of pog. Okay. Well, it's not pog at all, not. but like, for basically, I was I was high on life and addicted to cheap thrills, so uh, I was just kind of fucking like a rabbit because I had never never got to explore that side of myself, mm -hmm. and I got out of my system and I realized how draining it was and how um, demeaning it was to myself, so I stopped doing it because I felt like I was trying to fill a void that. I was just chipping away at instead of filling. Yeah. You know? It's like putting a plaster on a fucking a hole in a wall. Mm -hmm. You know? It covered it. It's still there though. Mm. You know? It's just being postponed. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Head in the sand. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, out of those three people, okay. like, how long did each one kind of last? Was it, was it strictly... Strictly for two, pleasure, or was there any? Was there any sort of three, like three? Three were strictly sexual. All of them. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I like to point out two of them were in the last two months because 
uh, I'm kind of, I'm not back on my whore days. That's crazy to say. But um, for the first time in ages, I felt good about myself in an appearance and an attractiveness way. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go get some pussy. <laughs> and I did. And I felt good until I didn't. Ha, I already know where you're going. At. So, so when you say until it did it, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. what what really happened there? Okay, so there was so this basically one there, was this, there was this girl. There was a girl. I guess that's just emotion. Um, when was, your phone doesn't ring, cause she fucking ignored you. Basically, there was this girl <laughs> who didn't want a relationship with Fresh L one. Mm -hmm. I was fine with that. Yeah, got on very well vibed clicked i was completely fine with like not taking it further than like a friends with benefits thing yeah because i like this girl i like hanging out with her, or i like talking to her uh we only we only hung out once yeah mm -hmm. we had sex sex was pretty mid uh mid. i don't think it was her doing though i think it or like my doing i think it was like incompatible sex okay you know what i mean yeah you've had your fair share man you're a dog <laughs> you're telling me about girl you're fucking last month <laughs> imagine he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't man he trying wasn't, to help he me. wasn't he wasn't he wasn't um that that was fine we hung out i, I kind of liked just hanging out with her way more than the sex yeah genuinely oh that's nice oh that's crazy imagine that well that's really cool imagine that imagine heartless hands can we get a round of applause for him oh he realized what a mean fucking action was what a crazy guy! What a crazy guy! So basically, uh, he's seen a woman for more than just her body parts. I kind of liked her. You liked her. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny when you know where it goes. Um, yeah, I know it's great. So anyway, anyway, this is this is. I, f I feel like everything in life comes around eventually. Mm -hmm. Remember, I was saying everything's a counterculture. Mm. Everything comes around. Everything comes around. I got and my comeuppance. And everything happens for a reason. I got my comeuppance like a dickhead. He. Got a taste of his own medicine. Indeed. Usually. Now, what was the medicine? Usually. Just, just describe I, it. I would like to clarify. I am never a ghoster. I'm not a ghoster. There, I have ghosted, obviously. And I've distanced. Obviously. You know, distance. Like, you get drier and drier and drier until you're not there. I've done all that shit. And I've I done it, like, I'm not saying, I've done it ages ago. I've done it fucking, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm human. Hmm. But most of the time, I like to be clear and honest with my intentions because I just feel like it saves the hassle. Mm -hmm. If I'm not feeling someone, I like to be upfront and say it because I don't want to waste anyone's time out of respect for them, you know? Mm -hmm. Especially if we were, like, friends. Like, we had a good connection, you know? So, we have a great time. We're talking. We chill. We watch a whole series of something. We're just smoking, having fun. Didn't even like fuck the next day. Just like chilling on the couch, cuddling, doing all that gay shit. Um, the nice stuff. That's the not nice the gay stuff, stuff. The fun stuff. That's the, great. Um, we'll get into that more in different scenarios in relation to my life. But anyway, uh, she ghosted me. She ghosted me. She didn't ghost me. Sorry. She uh, she got drier and drier. Messages that were getting responded to in like a couple of minutes turned into a couple of hours. And into more hours. It's a day. No, it was never days now. It was never days. Okay. So I'm giving myself that credit. I'm still top G. But anyway, I was like, okay, fuck this bitch. I'm just gonna open her and see what happens. Didn't what what do you think happened? Didn't play. What do you think happened? She just goes to you, bro. Ah, oh, it stinks to and say. And it hurts, it hurts, it hurts stinks deep down. To say. When you said it to me, I was like you had a great time. Oh, it was you had a I, fucking great You were reveling I, in the moment. I had a smile from oh, ear to ear. Bro, if he smiled anymore, his fucking lips would be touching on top of his head. <laughs> it's uh, good. It's good to get it was, that, though. It, it is good to get a. Like I a needed taste it of because it. I realized what I want now. Yeah. I'm ready to settle down. Saying it here first. He's saying it here. Any ladies out there? I'm a picky guy, though. That's my problem. Yeah. Yeah. I am, it like, is what it is, bro. It'll happen. What's hard. meant to be, what's meant to be, no, but will the thing be. Is, I feel such a pressure to do it as well. Yeah, but you gotta just fucking let that go. No, like. but the thing is, like, everyone is booed up. That's why everyone's always been booed up. 
Yeah, but everyone's a fucking retard and they just jump into shit too quickly. That's but true. Like, we don't get into that. That's true. That's none of my business. What, what people are doing and what they're happy doing is. Yeah, but you know it. yourself, though. Oh, yeah. You I know yourself know. that I if know. somebody comes around and if they're, okay, I get on really well with this person, this person has good mm. morals, they're a nice person, and I, I'm yeah. attracted to them physically, that'll be the one. And it'll but, happen naturally. But even honestly, like in my whole days, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was using sex as a bargain, a bargaining chip for like affection. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was using sex as not even like a thing for like me to enjoy. I was using sex for like the after the sex, the cuddling and the chatting and all, mm. just to like get that like. Oh, that's a cool. Uh, you know, that's, that's a cool that, realization. Yeah, yeah. That's a cool realization that really what you were. I wasn't having sex were, because because there's so many times I had sex with girls and it was like. I would have been better off with my hand. Like, genuinely. <laughs> genuinely. Yeah. Like, and, but, like, the cuddling, the talking, like, all that shit, like, all the actual Bro, that's, connection. That's the making. best part. Because, because sex, yeah, sex is, like, baseless. If I've had sex with women I consider, like, fucking my, my dream, like, most attractive woman. Yeah. And it's been made. And I've had sex with like girls who I wouldn't have sex with. <laughs> and it was banging. <laughs> but it's the aftermath like that <clears throat> builds that connection that makes the sex better. Yeah, that's the thing. You know? You have to have that person that after or before any of that happens, <clears throat> yeah. you're really content with it and you use that. Sex should add to your relationship. Yeah, it just adds to it. That, um, that intimacy. That being said, though, if your sex is bad and it's not fixable bad, I... There's always ways to improve, obviously. Yeah, but there isn't sometimes. <laughs> Some people have, like, pussy disorders or, like, dick disorders. <laughs> yeah. But that's Sex life is a cases. massive part of it. Yeah, well. sex is a huge part of relationships. It's the glue. Yeah. It's the glue it's that the holds glue. all the other great stuff together. It's the together. glue that is added to the foundation. If you yeah. sit there. It's the like concrete. The glue. It's like the concrete. Come on them. I'm not a fan of that. Huh? Coming on bitches. <laughs> I'm not. Pause. Okay, we're going back Pause. to serious talk. See, I, see, that's my thing as well, I've learned. What? Whenever something gets serious or touchy, you I like to... Comedy? No, humor, yeah, because that's how I, I deal with that's shit. That's how you cope, yeah. Yeah, literally. Mm. It's crazy. You feel uncomfortable saying something. Yeah, so it's so funny that I can like degrade myself and like say the most out pocket shit and feel fine with it. But then when it comes to being serious and genuine, it's like, oh. It's difficult for you. Yeah, because I, I was never brought up in an environment where that was like allowed. the done thing. Or like not even, not even that was allowed. It wasn't done. Yeah, it wasn't Yeah, done. like yeah. it was just, it wasn't normal, you know? Yeah. Like I tell my dad, I'd be fucking bitches. I never tell my dad, I'd be like trying to like cuddle bitches. That's mm. weird to me. <laughs> That's so jarring. It's jarring. It's jarring. It's a like cute, but it's a great realization to have to come around to. Yeah. And I when suppose. you find that one, bro, you're gonna be so happy. Until yeah. she fucking breaks your heart. I'm fine with that. Deal with that. Right <laughs> but that's a bangers. part of it as well. That's the game. That's a part. Don't, that's don't life. That's life. If, like, that's, part of the game. That is life. That's the thing. You have a terrible choice in women. You say this to me all the time. It's a terrible choice. How? Give me examples. Bro, you fucking you. Give me examples. If you're if you're looking. Na- name drop and I uh, I'll bleep it obviously. Okay. Okay. Well, the thing is, I don't know half the fucking people you've gotten with. Okay, you don't have to... Okay, uh, Elf, Elf, who I have gotten with, that you, you know... Of. I know only one. Okay. Why was she a bad choice? She was a bad choice because she didn't even, like, know what the fuck she was doing with herself. Never mind But you. I didn't know what I was doing with myself. Yeah, but that's, a young, is, that's a young thing. Hindsight is twenty twenty. That's though. a young thing. I can look back at that and be like, okay, that was two young people fucking that's around. A, that's a young thing. Yeah. Now... You're more secure and you know yourself oh, more. I, I could, you I need to never, find somebody that knows go, themselves. I could never go for someone like that now. You need to find somebody who knows themselves. The high octane crazy bitches are fun for like a day. They're not fun for... Yeah, you need to find someone who's thing. just chill. I need a SWG. You need chill. Secure. I need a SWG, and, bro. And affectionate. Right. You, need, you need some affection, you know? <laughs> you just need affection. <laughs> Who's that Sean fucking gay <laughs> That's a terrible That's Charlie joke. Puff. Is it? Yeah. They're both the same on my eyes. I love Charlie. 
<laughs> bit fucking annoying though, to be fair, on TikTok. TikTok yeah. Hella annoying on TikTok. No, but the crazy bitch is like, I have that L on my system. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. I believe that when I see it. Why the crazy ones fit though? God has, <laughs> God has struck me evilly. God is struck me. He has me. made me attracted to women who are attractive and then they're like, oh, I have this. But they're fucking crazy. Yeah, literally. No, but you can have that <coughs> shit. What, like, that's the thing, like, you can find a girl. Everybody's got fucking problems. You're not going to find somebody who's yeah, but unriddled but, with issues. Well, mental issues are different. No, man, everybody's got mental issues. Yeah, but... And if they don't, they're a cabbage, and they're yeah, a fucking so, yeah. But some people are dribbler. Some people have squirrels, and some people have Mewtwo's. You know yeah, what okay. I mean? You know, some people can know how to handle it. You need to get. You need to. You need to get with the people that have found out real, have the realization, have dealt with it for a bit of time, mm. and know how to deal with it, mm. and can communicate that pretty well. That's the thing. If somebody doesn't know how to communicate something, you're fucked. Oh yeah, and they're fucked as well. I know. So that's all it is. That's all it really is. It's a mature thing. And you're getting to that age now and we're getting to that age now where people are a bit more mature. Some people are still fucking stupid. But like, you will find that. Me, for example. I'm a yeah, retard. fucking idiot. I'm a fucking handicap. I'm, listen, I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing, man. And I, I believe that you will. I want to fuck. Yahoo! Bro, do it. I might. She seems nice. You weren't talking to her today. She was in work one time. The thing is, you don't, don't know. know. You don't know until you fucking try. I don't know until I fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, listen, I can't help it, right? I seen her. We had a great conversation. Bro, she, 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 realized, was she was talking to me. I fucked her, and it's then like, it was it. Was it. Like she was talking to me. She what was, was like trying to make like effort, you know? Oh, effort. That's oh, nice. It's crazy. Imagine that. Imagine that a bitch making like? effort with me. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine a bitch making effort with you. Imagine that. It's crazy. Mm. I don't know. Maybe we're I... gonna we're gonna fast forward. We're gonna we're gonna watch this in like. A year's time, right? When you, uh, I'll be in the and same you'll be so single situation because you're a little jacking my little wiener. You're scrubbing his bastard. I'll be scruffy. I'll be back to my old ways. I'll be out of the gym. I'll be smoking weed every day again. I'll be smoking weed every day. I won't be lifting weights. I'll be eating cheeseburgers and I'll be wanking. Don't like cheese. I'll be eating Jesus cheeseburgers and I'll be wanking. <laughs> I'll be jerking cheese. off. I'll be jerking off into the Everybody's burger. Everybody's favorite invention: cheese cheeseburger. Cheese cheeseburger. Can I get a cheeseburger without the cheese, please? See. Mm, see let me get a number see, five. The thing is, as well. Like, I'm not even looking for girls anymore. I'm not looking. I'm done. You don't need to. Check my phone. You don't need to. Check my phone. I don't need to check your phone. Check my phone. See if I have Tinder. Thing is, you don't... See if I have Tinder. You don't need to. Look. See if I have Tinder. Has this man deleted Tinder? Gotta find out. Ladies and gentlemen, breaking news. Quick it down. Ladies and gentlemen, da -da 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 -da, breaking news, breaking, breaking news, news, ladies breaking and news. gentlemen, welcome, welcome Whoa. to Niche, Whoa. welcome to Whoa. Niche News, ladies and gentlemen. Niche News, Niche News. The fucking Top G's have gotten out of the The Top G's, welcome to Top G News, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a top. monumental day. Say, top G's from space, but first, Ryan has deleted Tinder, question mark, <sighs> shock, horror? Horror. Sir. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a monumental day. Ryan J. Henzi. That's has it. deleted it. the Tinder app after five years of trying to pull anime titty bitches on the app. Successfully. He doesn't have Bumble. He doesn't have Tinder. <laughs> Successfully. Successfully. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> we outside. <laughs> <laughs> you get your money up, not your funny up. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ryan Hensey has deleted Tinder. He's now looking for a beautiful single woman that will support him and clean his house because it's fucking filthy. What's that over there? Oh my god. Top G's coming from space. Here's the moon! <laughs> <laughs> and the queen's dead. Yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs>